Join us for our early bird special. Every day at 8 a.m. we will offer you an incredible saving on a fantastic product. This offer is for one day only and while stocks last. So join us early to not miss out on some incredible savings. Now, I don't want to get maudlin before we start, but I think I've got... Oh, are you all right? Oh, my... Lucy just fell off the edge of the stage. No, she's not crying, she's laughing. Right, I was going to get more... I feel like I've got tick bite fever. I got in the car this morning and said to Anna, oh, are there ticks in Birmingham? I've got... I haven't felt like this since I had tick bite fever in South Africa. Now, that's why I'm buying being maudlin. Being maudlin, because today is Hannah's last shift. It's little Paul's last shift. It's Tom's last shift. And what's your name again? I'm only joking. Oh, that's Paul. He's only put himself in. And Lucy's last shift today. There's Hannah and Paul. Have you got a picture of Tom? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what's that then? Uh, and what about Lucy? What about Lucy? Okay. Early bird special. It's rather fantastic. Look at this. You get EPP hexes. Three of them. Three, two, one. Go. You get buy one, you get two for free. You buy one, you get two for free. So it's a bog toff. It's a bog toff. Uh, so you buy one, you get two for free. You're saving five pounds ninety eight pence. Two ninety nine. It's what? If you buy one, you get two for free. You buy one, you get two for free. I'm not surprised we're doing baskets. Five pounds ninety eight is what you're saving. You're paying two ninety nine. I know. Now what's? Are they all the same size? Are they all the same size? That's about hexagons one and one and a half inch. Yeah, yeah, one inch and one and a half inch. Two ninety nine. Two pounds and nine ten pence for all three of those. It's a bog toff. It's a bog toff. Oh, I'm thirsty already. I will, but I can't want to hold on to this. Can't hold and drink at the same time, can you? Do you have a lovely Christmas, by the way? I haven't been in for a few days, have I? Christmas Eve was my last day, so that's 24th. What day is it today? 29. Oof. It's the longest time I've had off in ages. No, I haven't. 2.99. You get lots in each. You get 75 of each, right? So it's 150, 150, 450 you get there in total. 450 in total. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock has been checked out. Oh, I forgot my little bit of paper. Oh, Lucy, Lucy. I had lots of birthdays to shout out. Sharon Georgia Peach's birthday today. She's 72. She doesn't want anyone to know. She's 72. In my Waitrose bag, I think it is, you know, where my rice cakes are, I think there's a bit of paper with people's birthdays written on. Because I also had to say hello to... I'll wait for the piece of paper. Because I had lots and lots of people to mention this morning. 2 99 Quick as you can. Well, actually, there's no rush. There's no rush, actually. Well, oh, is there? Oh, they've nearly all sold. Yes, there is a rush. I was going to say, we're going to have a nice leisurely day today, but we can't if they're nearly all gone. <gasps> I've just seen in the... Oh, in the bolts in this first hour, there are three that I want. There are three bolts. I'm starting with those as soon as I've done this and done the menu and everything. Right, when you've all checked out, that's gone. That's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. That piece of paper obviously isn't in my Waitrose bag, is it? Because she would have found it by now. Never mind. It was Sharon Georgia Peach. It was that say hello to Judith Cole... I had to say, say hello to Joan uh, and Sylvie. There's no piece of paper. I'll find it in the break. I'm sure it was Sylvie. Never mind, never mind. No, my Sharon George Peach got to go out half past nine. That was all. Oh, I can't go through the menu. Here's today's menu. Oh. Eight till one. Wait to warehouse clearance. There you go. There's your, that's it. 60% of everything. Eight o'clock warehouse clearance. Nine o'clock warehouse clearance. Ten o'clock warehouse clearance. Honestly. They think they could think of some nice name. It's because they're all on holiday, all having the Christmas off, aren't they? Hayley's coming in today. She'll, she'll be in, thinking, she'd say, I'll be in about 10 to 8. I'll be in at midday, she says. Uh, that's to change the locks so that Paul and Hannah can't come back in afterwards. You know what I mean? It's all. She has no interest in coming back in here, says Hannah. She didn't say it like that. Right, OK, so that's that. You can get, oh, now, what should we do about getting in touch? Anyway, let's have a look at the website. www. <coughs> www.sayingquarter.com You click on watch the show live, the screen goes bigger. 
What you can then do, <coughs> oh, excuse me, is you can scroll down the page and you'll see down there where it says Mr. Studio, yours, once you've logged in, yours will have a pink circle. Oh, my water tastes of bacon. <coughs> It'll be that. It's bacon. Now, um, also, that chicken curry with rice and chips is still in the fridge. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Anyway, I think it's, I think it's all right until 2040 or something like that. <coughs> so you go where message the studio, write a message there. That's a web chat. Up to 140 characters uh, you can write in there. Any more than that, it gets cut off. They go through to producer Hannah upstairs. Do I want one? No, it will be fine. Thank you, Tom. Um, you can send that. They go through to Hannah upstairs. She will send through to my um, iPad on the desk. Uh, you can also see products today show, but the, as you can see, the early bird has sold out. They will appear there. Um, I think I might have to have a lem sip. Anyway, I'll think about that in a minute. <coughs> it's only because I walked in here and I've started coughing, that's all. Uh, then you go to the top of the page when we're doing a live sale, live auction, click on log. Well, once you've logged in, you can, it'll say buy me now. Uh, it's post and packaging of one amount for the whole day, which is £2.95. It's not a penny, it's £2.95 for midnight to midnight. It goes, we are running behind on our, on our um, dispatches. But there are, uh, they're catching up because lots of people on Facebook yesterday saying they got deliveries yesterday and they've got lots, you know, they've got a lot of their deliveries yesterday. So they are catching up. Well done, warehouse. I wonder if they had to work over Christmas to keep up. I don't know. Uh, you can send me an email. W, oh no, studio at. <laughs> <coughs> studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, what should we, what should today's thing be? What should today's pictures be? Uh, oh, here's one picture. Go. Take it away. Take it off. Uh, no, now what should we have pictures sent in for? Oh, there's little Paul. At the Duke 1111. If you want to follow Hannah, because uh, Hannah's on Myanmar. But going to Myanmar, there she is. Patterns and place. Yeah, in her brain, she's already gone, but actually her bag will still be. You know what? It was last week, before Christmas, she, was, she said. Oh, now I'm going to be just be doing light. I'm going to travel very light, just a rucksack and everything. I texted her last night. She was sitting on a lounge floor watching a very sad film about teenage love dying, crying, surrounded the whole room. Not, not that I know, because I've not been invited around still, but not a whole room. It was very depressing. She hasn't packed, no. And she suddenly realised last night that her flight isn't late tomorrow afternoon, it's early tomorrow morning. So she's now got to get... Luckily, she looked. Luckily, she looked. So she'll be... Th there. Oh, actually, this time tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll have to... Oh, do you know what, Hannah? You'll have to tune in from the airport tomorrow morning. Because this time tomorrow morning, she'll be at the airport waiting for a flight to Myanmar. We could do a live stream. Yeah, live stream. Oh, yeah, she'll send in a picture of... Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, who's on? Who's on tomorrow? Chris and Jesse. Oh, well, we might not get a word in edgeway with all Jesse's moaning, might well be. But anyway, that's by the by. Uh, anyway, I've done that. Done that. Shall I get on? Shall I get on? Sorry. Shall I get on? Uh, let's start with some bolts. Now, I want three of these. Just so, you, just so you know. I might. I might buy them. Where's my credit card? It's bolts. I have to stand up for this one. The what? Oh, what? did decide not to lock the not, it. There's not one lock on. Honestly, right? Okay, so do this then. Oh, there's four of these. There's no picture on the website. There's twelve meters. That's a good one. That's not. Ah, uh, oh, look at the price. Now, that, surely that's more than 60%, is it not? 12 metres of peach, 100% quilting weight cotton, £33.50. Now, if you don't want 12 metres, buy it and share it out amongst your quilting group. Hang on, 12, that's not even £3 a... No, hang on. There's something wrong here. That's not even £3 a metre. OK, so what's, what's 33.5 divided by 12? Oh, what's the matter? 
Oh, it's sold out. Well, I'm not surprised, because it wasn't even three pounds a metre, was it? Oh, so sewing that has suggested, the, for the, the, not the ringing, don't phone in, the, the messaging could be the first thing you've bought, or your favourite thing that you bought from Sewing Quarter, or the first thing you bought from Sewing Quarter. I know what was the first sellout. It was Inselbright, wasn't it, Paul? Inselbright was the first sellout. This is one of the ones I want. There are only two of these. So it's £3.99 a metre. Makes it £2 for half a metre. We don't sell linen effect fabric, linen texture fabric for that matter. Well, we do today, but there are only two of them. I love this. Moss, this one's called. It's not Titan Moss, unfortunately, just Moss. Yeah, Paul could have to have a new name for his other career. Sold out. Well, no, no, because you, you were in the adult, adult film industry, weren't you? That's where you were called Titan Moss. That's why his name was Titan Moss, you see. It Paul's blocked it from the brain. He doesn't like to remember all those seedy days on set. I love this one. I love this one. Gold. Gold, this one is linen texture. £39.92. Talk about the cleaner. Did she not come in between Christmas and New Year? So, oh, that's sold out. That's sold out. That's sold out. That's sold out. <laughs> Hannah's on one today, everybody, by the way. This one feels like a big one. Should we put the graphics in? 12 metres. £33.50. How many of these have we got, Hannah? One, gone. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And that, also, you're paying two ninety five post of packaging. Imagine going to the post office and saying, Vicky, I'd like to send this for two ninety five, please. It wouldn't happen. Your postmistress might not be called Vicky. Here we go. So, oh, now. This one was 150-something. 177.83. It's now £71.38, but you've got 13.7 metres. Oh, OK. Uh, right, OK, there's lots of you got that in your basket. Someone needs to check out, because not all of you are going to get it. Got the same one in pink now. There's voiceovers for that as well, Paul. There you go. £71.13 pence for 13.7 metres. Oh, Gary's messaged in for Hannah. Morning, John. My favourite purchase of circuit has to be my Juki 720 Pro. I've used it ever since I had it. Brilliant. Gary and me say bye-bye to circuit. We're not going yet. We're here tomorrow. But they're not. They're not. Only me. Only me from today's shift here tomorrow. All the rest have gone. They don't care about tomorrow, they said. Uh, oh, Hannah does, because she's got to be on an aeroplane. Uh, good luck to everyone at the Sewing Quarter staff. It's not the end, it's a new beginning. But of course, we will miss you from Lorraine. Crazy Lorraine. Oh, OK, sorry. What time is it? What time is it? Oh, I haven't got a clock. Yeah. Uh, look at this, right? This was £205 for 13.7 metres. <laughs> Kim, hi John, so sad to teach the show Goff Air, it's been fab, fun and learnt and spent so much. Is the Sewing Quarter website staying open? Yes, the website, oh, now I'm going to ask about YouTube for you today. Well, lots of people messaged me yesterday asking for the YouTube. I think it's going to stay open, but I'll ask Hayley when she comes in at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock when Hayley comes in. Sold out. Everything we've sewn so far today is sold out. That's the cut. Now, I concluded I, I, I the early birds. Um, I spoke to Vix last night and she, I said, Do you have a nice day? And she was very upset and she got quite sad last night, Vix. Uh, but she's a crazy woman, right? So she was in here during the day. Then last night she did the overnight at Gems. And then today she's on at Jewelry Maker. Anyway, um, she said to me, Everything's still, it's still busy, John. Everything is selling out. So just to warn you that, that that's what's going to happen. Some things you will have seen. 
time and time again. Like, I've got that pattern now. Oh, pattern coming up later. You know the teddy bear. Woo! That one. That's coming up later. You'll have seen that quite a few times. Anyway, where am I going now? What's this hour called? Oh, just warehouse clearance. That's right. How could I forget that? Patterns. Yes. Right, I've only got 16 of these. Where I, where I think it's apt, I will tell you how many I've got of each of these. Right, this was 14 and a half, look. That's more than 60%. Two pounds. No, Paul, but I'll take them with me. I won't use them, but I'll take them with me. Paul's worried that I'm going to miss his jokes. Anyway, two pounds. Uh, little Paul, I was just thinking that uh, now. I'm not getting maudlin today, I promise. But I little Paul, I will miss you a lot. But that's, I'm not getting it. I will, I will. I, oh, Hannah, I'll be round at your house checking on your house for every day you're in Myanmar. So don't worry. Me and Tony will be in your house partying. Oh, he's in a half because you're going away for a month. He'll miss you. Oh, you haven't told him. Yeah, but his plans might have been, you know, two pounds, this is. There's four skirts in there, look. Not four candles, four skirts. Yeah, four candles. Two pounds. You should tell the ones that are looking after your house. With what, though? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're having our own conversations. That's very boring for you at home. Because it's, it's the last time we'll all be together. We go together like rama lama lama ba ding a ding a ding That's supposed to be at the end. We're going to do a song and dance. We're not. Hannah, well, no, I said to Hannah, I said to Hannah, have you brought your outfit? She went, no, I didn't have time. So she, Hannah's not screen red. No, she's not going on air. She's not screen ready. You can run down. Tom doesn't want to come on. Tom's obviously not come dressed for camera either. Debs has messaged him. Which one? Where? Nothing yet. <laughs> Nothing's come through yet from Debs. Uh, there's nothing come through. Rotary blade sharpener. Then she was hooked. That's Ronnie from where? Where is she from? Oh, no, her name's not Ronnie. <laughs> her name's then spell it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Rhonda, yeah. Rhonda. Yeah. C Y N O N. Rhonda. Anyway, it's from the Rhonda Valleys. Yeah, not Ronnie Corbett. All the people behind the cameras are the best. I wish you gave one the best. Yeah, you read that wrong. It didn't come through, you see. Debs. Helen, going to miss you all. Paul, love your jokes. We need lots today. Helen, we do not. Oh, take Hannah off the plasma. There you go, there you go. Uh, no, we're not having lots of Paul jokes today, Helen. Dear all, I only joined the second quarter family this. But what fun it has been. I think you missed out a word there, Angela. <laughs> Thank you all. I wish you the very best. Looking forward to the new... To the book, yeah, I know, I've got to start writing it. I'm supposed to have a chapter in by the 6th of January. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Uh, have I moved on? Have I finished? Uh, I don't know, Paul. Well, it's, it's a sewing book, Paul. You don't do that much sewing, do you? Oh, yeah, I might not be talking about that, though. Um, here's Hannah at yoga. Two pounds was 14 and a half. 
What size do you need then, Hannah? XL, XS to 2XL. Let's have a look. So it goes from 32 and a half inch bust, 26 waist, Paul, up to 53 bust and 47 waist. It's good, isn't it? It's all in there. Two pounds. Oh, Reeve, I was only thinking about you last night. No, that came out wrong. That came out very wrong. That Reeve, nothing, nothing from Reeve has come up on my iPad though. Oh, the owners. Oh, at Reeve. I've bought one of, I've bought that as well. I've just bought one of those. Elna 680, I've got the red one, the plus. And what did she say after that? She'll miss all so much, don't f I've got Lynn's morning, John, tell us. Have you removed all your shirts yet? Lynn, are you a witch? It's, oh, it's really weird, Lynn, because I was just put, I've just taken them all out of the wardrobe in my dressing room, laid them on the table ready to put in the car. And have you got room at home to keep them stored properly? I've got plenty of room. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, have we done? Because my sewing room is on the move, you see, I'll now have a dressing room at home. Because my, my sewing room is moving out of the house. Jeanette, John, thank you and sign quarter for keeping me going during a very difficult year. Looking forward to 20 and 20 and a new start from Je Jeanette, my love, sending you lots and lots of love. I know you've had a tough time. Have I finished with that one? I, I don't know why I'm storing everything on the back shelf. I've suddenly got this new, this new system. Just in time for when I, um, we leave. What are you doing, Paul? My handmade wardrobe, every, how many of these have I got? Only got 10 of these. Little Paul's playing with his um, desk. <laughs> At least doing, on my preview monitor, I'm seeing all sorts of things flash up. Nothing's sounding quite right this morning. It's Sunday morning, Hannah, please. Yeah, it's Sunday today. Yeah, you're flying on your holidays on Monday, the 30th of... December 2000. I, everyone kept going on about, oh, new decade, new decade, new decade. Completely gone over my head that it's a new decade. Morning, John. I've been watching the programme since day one. Loved every minute. I'll miss you so much. All the best. Unlock in your new venture. Lots of love from Sandra in Herefordshire. Thank you, Sandra, my love. It will be odd. I'll be a mess tomorrow. Just to warn you, I will be a mess tomorrow. Well, mind you, Jess will be moaning so much. I won't have time to be a mess, will I? Because he didn't come in on Christmas Eve, did he? Wouldn't work Christmas Eve. No, we had to Andrew in on Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. I'm oh, uh, Alexandra. Thank you so much, John team, for a wonderful show. I've learned so much from day one. I shall miss you all. Wish you every success, Alexandra. Thank Alexandra. Thank you very much indeed. What's the matter with Julie's telly? Oh, Julie, that's not us, my love. That must be your telly. Where, are you, where do you live, Julie? Oh, in Hampshire. It's because you're too posh. She's going to miss us lots. Oh, yeah, and the video on the computer is always a little bit behind the television. Has been for three years. Never catch up. That's fine. Uh, morning, John. Did your Christmas card drive? No. <laughs> Marion? Uh, Marion, no, nothing. They still haven't arrived yet. They're still, it's just as well as in wait, isn't it? All the way best to you in your second quarter. Don't know what I'm going to do after tomorrow. Lots of kisses. Marion, world. No, 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 don't worry. Don't, don't show the slide. Don't show the slide. Yeah, positive. Go on then. Go on then. Right. Oh, the French boys. One of one, them, um, uh, he sent me a message already this morning. Yeah. Are they not your, are you not their friend on Instagram? Oh. Yeah, they've got two. He's got his personal one and then they've got this one here, the BG. Yeah, go on the BG one then. Look, the relaxed sweater. I was on with this one when they did this, two pounds. Was 17.99. I mean, you wouldn't be able to buy this little envelope for two pounds, would you, from a, anyway. 
Oh, Carol, no, I'm not washing my shirts. I have to wear them. Mind you, we might have to. This, the rate we're going, the, the speed you're still buying things, we might have to, we'll have nothing left to sell tomorrow. I haven't got anything from Hillary yet, so I'll just wait for that. To... Hannah, it's picking up your, your... Hillary, got it now. John, you have made me laugh so much, made sewing such fun, especially when I'm unpicking with my pink beard trimmer. I look forward to your next. And that's it. I know my pink one's still in the cupboard. Two pounds this pattern. Oh no, who's unfollowed Hannah? She was on 300 yesterday and she's on 298 today. That's the one you want to follow if you want to see all of her travel photography of people and places. Enjoy and follow. Only one place. If you click on more, there's the link to McBabe8. And there's Paul at the underscore Duke. One, 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 one. Still hasn't got a girlfriend. You, you don't want to meet a girlfriend feeling poorly, Paul. Here we go. I know what will cheer you up, Paul. I can think of both of those. Two pounds, this pattern. It's a Fiona Hesford for two pounds. You don't get Fiona Hesford. Do you want to tell the audience what? No. I might buy this. How many of these have I got? I only got 37 of these. Have, have you gone back up to over 300 now? 301 now, that's good. Paul's not adding you. It's because that photo's not really you, Paul, that's why. No, 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 it is you, but it's not the best picture of you. Um, Paul, you need to put that one, a better one of you on your holidays, your matching shirt and short combo. Oh, okay. She won't do that. What's the matter, Tom? Tom's linked... Oh, Tom's linked his Instagram to Hannah's Instagram now. Oh, no, no. What's he done then? Okay. When, we put, when I put a picture of Tom on my Facebook page, he got about 600 likes. It was a good picture, I have to say. It was <laughs> yeah, if I was to put a picture of him today on, I think half those people might delete him. Who has? Oh, Nanny Jill, nothing's come through yet. Oh, I'll just wait a second. Just wait, don't get... Oh, good morning, my absolute favourite saying called a moment. You and Mandy Shaw giggling. Oh. Uh, Nanny Jill, a.k.a. Gary. Um, hashtag I've signed up. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new thing, it's trending. Oh, why are you taking your clothes off, Tom? Tom's taking his clothes off to get more likes on Instagram. You can't see it. It's only me that can see him. Uh, if, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get my phone later and I'll put, put a picture of Tom. Semi undressed on the cameras. Uh, well, hang on then. So, why were you allowed to show Vixies yesterday then? Oh, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Here we go. Chances. Oh, dear. Paul sending Hannah a selection of pictures of himself now. Not that she'll ever forget him. Well, don't you do your shopping in Hannah's Village anymore then, Paul? Oh, he's, you'll see him in the shops, in his T-shirt in the summer. Cheeky Gino's. Well, at least the women are taking attention to you, Paul. They're looking. Eight, this was 18 It's two pounds now. Brilliant price. Cheeky Gino. Two pounds. Is it one o'clock yet? <laughs> 
I haven't even sat down at the chair still there. Jeremy, when Jeremy's on, he times how long it takes me to sit down. Photo. A photo of Gary and Rachel. Oh, Gary's got his clothes on for a change. Hi, all. Off sewing quarter. Me and Gary are raising gloves to you. Not this time in the morning, I hope not, Rachel. We'll definitely be watching tomorrow. Uh, so what's Gary drinking? Where's his baby sham? There's, there's a pint of cider, look. Where's his baby sham? That's your second favourite viewer. Oh, yeah, of course, Jack. So you're... Uh, ja I'm ever so sorry, Gary. You're only number two in her book, because Jack... Oh, she's got a picture. She'll, she'll put a picture of Jack up in a minute for you. Because it's her screensaver now. Oh, and there's a canvas for a wall of Jack. Poor boy. Here we go. Now, I wonder why this one was $21.99. Twenty one nine times what this is, it's two pounds now. That's ten percent. That's that surely is that ninety percent off then? Because that's like ten percent of the price, isn't it? But Tom's trying to work it out. Well ten percent would be two pounds off. So ninety percent would be eighteen pounds off. You say it is ninety percent off that one. Yeah, no. Thank you, Anna. Hannah's just done it on her computer. 90.9% to be, to be frank, to be honest, not Frank. I don't know who Frank is. What's my Hannah? Don't be Frank, you're John, she says. Oh, we see Tom's taking his glasses off now. It's, we're getting serious. <laughs> da, 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 da. Sally Ann, on early's tomorrow. So I'm going to have to watch you on YouTube with a box of tissues and a large drink. All signed up. Hashtag all signed up. You betcha. Here's to a great. Anyway, Sally Ann, thank you, my love. 2020, I imagine it says. New career at your old age. Georgina, is today the last live programme? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I thought you're on again tomorrow. What are we going to do without you? And so in quarter in the morning. No, Georgina, it's on tomorrow. It's just that today, it's up, I'm pointing upstairs because that's where they're not in heaven. Paul and Hannah, who are uh, up just up there, it's their last day. It's Tom's last day and it's Lucy's last day. Tomorrow we'll have Jesse and Chris. Chris, Chris, will, Chris will be in tears before we even come on air. Um, who's, is it Mike tomorrow? <laughs> and Laura. Oh, Laura. So there'll be Laura, Mike, and Jesse won't care. And Chris will all be sobbing their hearts out. Mike will be like, what? what do you mean last day? <laughs> what? Anyway, Louise, no, she won't be here. Louise won't be here. I've got nothing from Louise yet. No, Sewing Quarter inspired me to take a city and guilds in patchwork and quilting. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, love, Lou. Oh, that's a lovely message. Thank you. Here we go. Now, this has got loads in this pattern. Loads. <laughs> Paul's not been in for a week. He's very shocked at everything we're showing you at the moment for £2. This is the Mega Laundry Bundle. There's little Paul's washi it though. No, I've never said about that one before. I normally, I normally do it about that lovely um, advent calendar we used to do. The socks. There's nothing you can do about it now, Paul. There's how many? Seven of these left. You might be sick of seeing this, but there's only seven left now. From? Hang on, let's see if it comes through. I've still got Georgina, as you see. He was doing this the other day with Chris, and I was blaming Chris. No, Rachel. Hi, John. Hang on. My f oh, this is Rachel and Jamie. My favourite moment was uh, Jamie on air with you. Jamie, the husband, uh, did an impression of me, right? And so Neil invited him in, and he came on air with me. And Rachel's his wife, who's lost about 20 stone, and she looks amazing. And then I saw a picture of him yesterday as well, and he's lost a lot of weight too. Anyway.
Oh, don't be the dog. Uh, I saw that's all about Tav Festival. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be at Festival Quilts again this year, apparently. Oh, and don't forget. Oh, sorry, sorry, Hannah, over overshadowing you. Um, don't forget the Stitch Festival in uh, February the 29th and 1st of March. Uh, I, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be in the theatre, I'm going to do meet and greets and all sorts of things. Uh, the Stitch Festival is what used to be the Knitting and Stitching Show, it's just been renamed. And instead of being in Olympia, Ali Pally, it's in uh, Islington, at the Design Business Centre in Islington. Oh, what's Lucy coming in for? Jean, I've got Jean. You're on the Any Shopping channel I felt safe to buy from. Oh, Jean, where will I get ideas and supplies from now? Been with you since the beginning. And then it was, goodbye. Just says goodbye. Oh, Jean in West Sussex, that's really sad. Goodbye. Um, they're just going to, uh, Lucy's just going to update my iPad. See if the, see, see. You keep looking at this, though. Oh, now this is the one, right? I asked about this the other day. Somebody, <coughs> someone messaged in because there's not only a coffee maker cover, a toaster cover, a can opener cover, a toaster oven cover. Look. We did learn what the toaster oven was the other day. Oh, I wasn't in yesterday, so it couldn't have been me yesterday then. Oh. <laughs> Two pounds. Have you sourced it, Luce? Oh, what's the, why are you pulling that face? Lucy's pulling, oh, there she is. She's talking. See, that's what I have to put up with all the time, chattering, chattering, chattering. <laughs> yeah, no coughing, Tom. Oh, dear. Right. And I know, uh, the thing is, right, so Hannah, when she gets back from Myanmar, is moving in with Lucy's boyfriend's mother, and the sausage dog. Anyway, is it fixed? Would it have to be working together to be friends? You don't know what's wrong with you? I think it's Hannah just pressing, because some come through. I don't think you are, Hannah. Are you Lucy or not? No, the fake, no. There's a bucket, sick bucket there. <coughs> The, this was £14. <clears throat> it's now £2. And in Cheshire, John, it's Han if it's Hannah and Paul's last day, are they coming down saying bye? No, Paul will, but Hannah's not. <clears throat> uh, John, I'll miss you and all the same quarter mates. Will be a loss, at a loss after tomorrow from Sarah in Surrey. I think we all will a bit. I think, we're, but then everything happens for a reason. We've got to remember that. Yes, it does, Paul. Two pounds. Right, now, this is the one that it looks gorgeous as a little frock. But then, um, remember when Rebecca took the Japanese book and readjusted that? This is the one she used for that. Will you be taking Camera Panda with you? How do you know about Camera Panda, Georgina? Um, wishing you all well. Hope you have a good 2020. If in Norfolk, please drop in from Georgina. I will, Georgina. I got invited to a nice... Um, now, what was the shop I got invited to yesterday in Maltby? No, it was a sewing shop. I, I might take the panda, but it might be a bit odd if I turn up at a new job going, could you, just, could you just put this on the number one camera? No, that's what we have tag lights for, John. Chase it. What are they called? What are they called? Tally. Tally, not tag. Tally lights. How come Sky are showing programmes till the 5th? Miss you already. Now, I'm not allowed to tell you this, Tracy, but after tomorrow, there will still be shows going out. Uh, you're not buying anything, but all the designers who you've come to love and meet, they've all done a show each, and they'll be on a loop. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's 18 of them have done it in total. Paul's got no idea, because he didn't get asked to do one. Now, Sandy. Been with you from the start and now to the end. Love you all and miss you. Thanks. Oh, don't, don't start me off now. <clears throat> now, only buy this if you're an advanced quilter and you've got the Fat Robin 16-point book and ruler because you can't make this without them. Even just for £2, you can't make it. 
but it's only two pounds and it's rather lovely <clears throat> the other day when i was on with chris i don't think i've got it today there was another quilt oh i know somebody mentioned saying john what was your favorite ever quilt on the show and before i had time to answer chris said oh this was mine and he started saying which one and it was one like a mariner's compass one then he told me the date then he told me who'd made it and then he found all the pictures of it we had a close-up of it we I've never, I'd never seen it. I'd ne Sally Stevens uh, demonstrated it. I think it was one from a magazine that we'd borrowed and we just showed you a little bit to do. Is it Elaine from next door to your mum? Oh, is it Elaine Page? Oh, no, she'll be getting ready to do a show. Oh, no, what day is it? Sunday? Oh, yeah, she'll be getting ready to do a show. Uh, it'll be like saying goodbye to an old friend, the one who always cheers you up and keeps you going. Hashtag signed up. Onwards and upwards. Elaine, don't. It's going to be horrible, isn't it? It is going to be horrible. Oh, Mo, you'll be pleased to know that kitchen knick-knack item patterns has all sold out. Oh, get a life, Mo. <laughs> Have you not got them all in your house, Mo? I thought your whole kitchen would all be like, you know, no. Oh, OK, Hannah will be messaging you, but she's got a long to-do list. You might get a message from Myanmar saying, please send money. Yes. Amelie, this was £16.99, £2. That's nice, isn't it? I, I don't recognise this one. What's the yellow thing going across the... Oh, it's now thought it was a paddle for a canoe. It's a blooming big... Oh, it is a paddle. Oh, yes, there's a boat at the bottom. Right, right hang on. You need a stripology to do this one says but you don't really oh the reason she put that is because the woman who's designed this pattern is Gudrun Erla who designed the stripology ruler I don't know what the link to the boat is you see there's no mess there's no message of quilts in there there's your finished quilt though Oh, look, crib size, lap size, twin size, full size, queen size, king size. No boat size, no canoe size. I've got nothing from Elizabeth yet. Oh, Elizabeth in Worcestershire says, Morning, Elizabeth. We will all miss you and the sewing quarter team. Oh, now, you see, the thing is, I can't tell you when I'm on pavers. Because she's just said, could you give us a heads up when you're on pavers? Is I go to pavers for two or three days a month and just film and film, and it's not live. And then they just choose as and when it goes out. We don't get told when it's going out. So it is very random because the last few days I've not been on tour. It's all been Derek the last few days. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm not filming in January. So I presume by February, one, I mean, there will be ones, but most of the ones I did. Oh, no, hang on. I did some just before Christmas, didn't I? So they'll be going out now. Oh, I don't know. Now, um, Bronwyn said she can't get my new website on her Kindle. I didn't need, I thought Kindles only did books. I don't think you can get, I don't think you can get do websites on Kindles. I don't know either. Um, who was that? The Bronwyn, did you say? Bronwyn, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Tom's an expert. Hang on. No, he thinks you can't do websites on, on Kindles, my love. Anyway. Oh, Kindle Fire. We don't know. I thought Kindle Fire was still a book. I've got a Kindle Fire. Here it is, very quickly. John Scott's 2Ts2SSSewingWorld.com. Thank you. Off. Uh, do you know who made the background for me? Mandy Shaw. I know. She did Stitch the World for me. Right, I've, run, I've finished out that pile. Shall I do these fabrics now? Oh. I wouldn't make a costume out of that. See-through. Look. That is so... 
If you wore that, right, look, you can see my hand straight through it. No. If you wear flesh-coloured G-string like models do, then you might get away with it, but no. What is it exactly is it? Ivory, lycra, always stretch. Paul wears this every day. No wonder he's sweaty. Uh, one pound eighty. One pound eighty, half a metre this. Susan, love you all and we'll miss you so much. Best wishes from Sad Sue in Devon. Oh, don't be sad, Sue in Devon. Wendy, so many repeats. Oh, you're not supposed to say that, Wendy. So many repeats now. I can't remember if I've already bought them. Love and miss you all. I know, Wendy. It is called Warehouse Clips. Wendy, you'd know if you bought this, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. It's like a satinized lycra. And it feels, ah. Oh, it's making my, ma making my knees go funny. Sue says, hi, John. Like everyone else, I'll miss you. Uh, all cheered me up. Oh, hang on. Miss you all. Cheered me up every morning. Wish you all the very best for new venture. Onwards and upwards. Sending all love. Have you signed up, though, Sue in Bridgend? This is a stretchy. Stop rowing, you two. Yeah, look, don't look down. I did, oh, no, on, on um, the day before Christmas Eve, right, Hannah had been, Hannah was going up to her mum and dad's for Christmas and she'd been to have the second part of her rabies and her Japanese what's it jab. And she was as white as this wall. She was absolute. And then she came down like this in the lunch break. I was having my bald egg and my cucumber and everything. And she was like, I mustn't look down. I mustn't look down. And every time she looked down, like, she was going to pass that. And she was, walking to the, she was walking to the train station. It was frightening. She, yeah. Oh, that's like, it was like vertigo. It was like vertigo, but she looked like she was about to pass out. Anyway, this was 7 99 It's now £3.20. For half a metre, obviously. That's seasickness. That's not vertigo. Oh. Was that on your day in Morocco? Dawn in Greater London. My husband will miss your shirt collection. Well, shall I tell him where it is? He can come round and have a rummage if he likes. <laughs> you have inspired... Oh, hang on, I've inspired his growing collection. From Dawn in Northolt, the land of the little streetlights. Oh, Dawn, <coughs> I pass by you every time I come into London. Yeah. Doesn't say what your hus doesn't say what our husband's called or when he'll be in. Oh, I'll be coming down there more often now, won't I? I'll just go to Northolt and go, I just hit see Dawn. I'll go, oh, yes, third house down from the left. I know. I, got to, I have to say thank you so much for all of your um, Christmas cards and Christmas presents. A um, lot of my Christmas cards just got there saying John Scott Long Marsden, and that was it. That was the address. And the postman still found it. Here you go. Lace, corded, pink. <coughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Pink scalloped and corded lace fabric was seven nine times half metres. Now three pounds and twenty pence. Beautiful, isn't it? Look, nothing's come through, Han. Oh, it's not on my thingy though. This is lovely, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Look, dear John. I've had the most amazing time with you and the team. You have renewed my interest in all things saying. So much so, my husband bought me a craft room for Christmas. But I don't know what I will do without you all. It feels like a bereavement. How do we keep in touch with the wonderful world your team have brought us into? Love to you all, Jane from Kent. Right, well, then you keep in touch with Hannah. Are you ready for this? This say keep in touch with Hannah. Patterns and place. That's the one where that she travels around the world and she's going to take pictures. You're off to Myanmar in the morning. Or, of course, you can go to McBay Bait and see her party pictures, which is where Carl goes to every day. You can sick follow little Paul. He's got a new picture yet. At the Duke. 
No, at the underscore Duke 1111. You can do Tom. Tom's next. There you go. No picture of Tom. Because Hannah gets a bit more girly when she sees a picture of Tom. Uh, that, now, what's your, what's your Instagram then, Tom? Is it the same name? At Thomas Curtis Photos. At Thomas Curtis Photos. There's Vix here. Now, this is that, you see the boy on the left? That's not her husband. Lots of people keep asking if that's her husband. That's Laura's boyfriend. Um, anyway, Instagram, Two Tone Acoustic with thingies underneath, or Facebook at Two Tone Official. Or there's no Natasha's. Oh, where's the, that Natasha makes? Natasha makes is Natasha's. Her, her, her Natasha McCarty is full, right? So you need to, on Facebook, you need to go to Natasha's. Now, is it Natasha's Makes or Natasha Makes? Uh, and she's in, she'll be in tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the last hour tomorrow with all her other news as well. Uh, and then there's mine, which is this one, www.johnscottsewingworld.com. Two T's, two S's. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. Marilyn, I have to tell you, 22,000 people have signed up to my website already. Marilyn, oh, John, I'm so sad. Don't be sad, Marilyn. I suppose each morning I try and sort out my sewing quarter stash. I think it will take me a year. Hasta luego. That's how they speak in Southport, isn't it, Marilyn? Um, but you know what you could do? You could just watch YouTube every morning. That's another, that will take up three years of your life. So Paul's going to do that. <clears throat> Message from Rosemary. Uh, can't say goodbye, feel too sad. Just want to say thanks for all the fun and mischief and wish you all a wonderful 2020, full of new beginnings. And a super dolly for Paul. <laughs> now, I think you mean Dolly Bird, don't you? Don't, not a dolly. He can't afford that. With love and kisses from Rosemary. Aww. <laughs> Paul's gone very quiet now. Uh, assembly line, patent. Now, they, surely this isn't two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> two pounds. Was 20 pounds and 99 pence. It's two pounds now. Three pleat skirt. What is it? It's a skirt with three pleats. Mo, when you do your book, make sure your publishers include an e-version for Kindle fans. Hashtag signed up. Uh, oh, they'll be, it'll be everywhere. I don't think I'll do it hardback. We'll do it softback straight away. I don't know. I don't know about these things. No, I don't know. Now it could be called John Scott's Same World, I imagine. I don't know. Someone sent me a really fantastic title the other day, but it was slightly smutty. Hi, John. Yes, signed up for John Scott's Same World. Hee hee, little plug. Thank you. I don't talk about the pull like that. <laughs> oh, Paul, we've already said we're going to miss you. Oh. <laughs> Dawn, in, in uh, the land of little street lumps, right, said, my husband's also called John, and I'm sure he'd love a rummage with you, John. <laughs> well, Dawn, deal. There you go. Celia. Two pounds. I got a lovely email from Jules and Charlie this week. Charlie's up. I don't know if they're married or not. Does she say husband? Okay. Uh, I've read that one. Yeah, Hannah, I've read that one. Oh, is it the first hour done already? Crikey. Oh, and I didn't get a chance to do the hooks. OK, we'll do them the next hour. Cri oh, Crystal. <laughs> Crystal's not down here. I just trod on my shoelace down here. Crystal's has not come through. Why are we having issues with this? Maybe in the break, I'll switch it off and start it again. Ha Hashtag signed up. Hello, John. Love you, I'm missing you already. Oh, thank you for the nickname, it's stuck. It's not a nickname, she played Linda Evans. She played Crystal. Oh, I'm sure we'll meet again, Crystal, if you've signed up, definitely. And Jean in North Yorkshire. Morning, John. Oh. 
Jean, I've, I've, Jean, did I not send you an email last night? I'm sure I did. Anyway, Jean said, um, I, you've helped me get through the treatment for my... And um, I got me back into sewing. Oh, Jean, you know what? The thing is, so many people have messaged me saying, it's not just a, sew it's not just a shopping channel. It's like a, a family. It is really, isn't it? SJ. Hello, John. So to see you all go. We will miss you. Really enjoyed your shows. Thank you for all the fun. All the very best from Susan in Kent. Oh, Susan, thank you. Have we done this one? Oh, do, do this one. Rosalind. That was my mum's name, Rosalind. Two pounds. For a, oh, this is the one you want, Hannah, and you're not going to get time to make the trousers now, are you, before you go? What are you going to do when you go to a temple? When she goes around the temple, she's got to be covered up, hasn't she? Thank you for inspiring me to sew. I have now inspired my granddaughter. But Sarah is more interested in crochet. Oh, does she indeed, Margaret? I might do some crochet on my new website. I've never done crochet before. Anyway, two pounds. Deborah, hi, Paul, John and Hannah and all the team. Not looking forward to having to watch the other daytime TV. Sad day tomorrow. Love Debbie in Uxbridge. What other daytime TV is there? What's on? Lorraine's on. Isn't Lorraine on now? Oh, what's in... Oh, no, aren't they... Didn't they... Lorraine get longer and this morning get longer to film the Jeremy Carl slot? I can't remember now. Well, I just suddenly thought maybe John Scott saying, well, could we play her back on this morning? Who knows? Who knows what we're sorting out? Right, I'm going for a break. Uh, what am I doing next? What's the next hour? Oh, that's right. Warehouse clearance. Uh, oh, got threads. Embroidery threads. I'll see you in three from now. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. We're obsessed with designer fabric at Sewing Quarter. From the quirky prints of Tula Pink and K Facet to the more traditional William Morris and Liberty. With our great discounts and capped delivery of just £2.95, who could resist topping up the stash? Check out all the gorgeous fabric we have on offer on our website www.sewingquarter.com and see our top 10 picks on our Pinterest page. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. From gorgeous florals to nursery rhyme themed prints and paisley, our Lessienne fabrics are great for all your vintage style makes. And what's more, they're at a discounted price. Visit our website at www.sewingquarter.com to view the full range and discounts. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. Have you heard about the Sewing Quarter Fans Facebook group? It is a great place to chat to fellow SQ viewers, presenters and guest designers. Share sewing and quilting tips and see what other fans have made. You will even receive exclusive offers and find out about new products and projects before anyone else. Simply search for Sewing Quarter Fans on Facebook to join the group and be part of the SQ community. Follow us on Facebook to see some of our favourite makes that we have coming up, which fabulous guests will be joining us and some of our fantastic offers and discounts. We also hold one-off Facebook Lives with special guests and demonstrations exclusive to Facebook. 
Just search for Sewing Quarter on Facebook to find us. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. Did you know that you can stay up to date with all of Sewing Quarter's demonstrations with our email newsletter? Our newsletter brings you regular updates on what is coming up on the show, as well as exclusive offers, discounts and events we will be at. Be the first to know what's coming up by signing up for our newsletter. You can do all this by heading to our website and clicking on the newsletter button. All we need is your email. Hello, Sharon Georgia Peach, happy birthday, 72 birth. I'm reading the news, my new job. Today on the news at Sewing Quarter, um, look at the panda. Um, Sharon, jo I've said this at eight o'clock, but I didn't have my bit of paper. Sharon Georgia Peach, she is 72 today. She doesn't want anyone to know she's 72, but she's 72 today. Did I say she was 72? Judith Cole, hello, my love. And Sylvie, I'm sending you lots and lots of love from Paul Smith. Not the Paul Smith, the fashion, no, not the Paul Smith, the fashion designer. No, Paul Evans isn't married to Sylvie, so. Paul's not married, sadly, so he'd love a wife and a gardener. You do need, but you'll, you'll have plenty of time to your garden after New Year. Always the best time, no? Start clearing the garden up now, having a good clear out now. Um, now, isn't this weird, right? Because I messaged my friend Rosemary the other day. She's like royal family, HRH Rosemary. She gave me loads of um, snowdrops last year. Anyway, I went out in the garden the other day to put the, bird, the, the fat balls in the um, bird thingy. What's that thing called? You know the thing where you feed the bird? Feed the birds. Uh, anyway, um, and then I saw I had loads of daffodils coming up. So no snowdrops. I messaged her going, are your snowdrops like yet? And she went, yeah, mine have all come up. Anyway, mine aren't. Mine haven't arrived anywhere. But then last night I dreamt that I had, my garden was full of snowdrops. I think it was because last night, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, but I've got, I did that top nine thing yesterday. Like you pick nine pictures from the year to sum up the year. And I've had a really fantastic year. But then I put the pictures obviously of Norman and Nelly and I got really, really upset. I don't, like beyond, and, it, and I'm sure it's because I was like, that transference thing, wasn't it? Because I'm upset about this place closing, but it was really, oh, I was like, really, really? I got into bed and the tears were like just pouring down my face like that. I did it, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. No, no, I just used the layout and picked my nine favourite ones and just did it that way. There is an app, but I couldn't be bothered doing that. Right, what am I gonna do? Where am I starting? Is this it for the hour? Okay, we're gonna have to go very slowly. Before we do that, let's look. Oh, <laughs> at, they've missed the at off. The underscore Duke 111. That seasonal pool look. Holiday. Where's the Christmas one taken? At whose house? Oh, that's your tree, is it? See, I knew you'd done a theme. Ah. You've lost your hat. Well, just get drunk. You went outside wearing that hat. You went to the pub in it. Did you see my Santa slippers? They were ever so cosy. The thing is, I brought them home, right? They're ever so cosy, but I can't really wear them after this weekend, can I? Because they're Christmas. It's like Father Christmas Santa slippers. Oh, Paul. Paul's going to miss Hannah. Right. Where are we going to go first, then? We'll show a photo of Jean first. Good morning. I lift my glue vine. I'm not sure that's how you spell it, Jean, my love. I lift my glue vine to you. Wish you all at San Quentin a very happy, healthy and prosperous new year. Oh, look, I've got a picture taken there as well. Photograph taken at Berman Christmas Market, which is followed by watching the, the tattoo. I'm having a tattoo for my 40th birthday. A lovely day out from North Yorkshire. We'll miss the show. Um, oh, don't. I'm very much especially you, John. Lots of love from Jean in 
Kirkby Moorside. Oh, Jean, were you warm enough, Jean, in just that anorak? When I was there, I'd have a great big heavy coat on. I was freezing. Oh, it's lovely. Didn't, wasn't very busy that day, was it? Look. Oh, so we don't, we're not going in order. We're only not getting any form of order. She is a bit out of order. Now, this is called Puppy Pear. Peace Joe Carter's adorable sausage dog mini quilt, complete with flapping ears. Oh, my glasses are there. Yeah, I couldn't find my glasses. <laughs> there you go. Two pounds. Two pounds. Right, if we go for upstairs, we'll go to the upstairs camera and we'll have a look. So we've got the writing. We've got the foundation paper piecing templates. We've got the flappy ear. There you go. Brilliant. Two pounds, that. Two pounds. So this could be Hannah's house. Look, she's got cactuses. And she's got an old-fashioned camera. Have you got a trim phone? Oh, she's got a Mickey Mouse phone. We used to have exactly that in my mum and dad's house, but in avocado. And that, that this one was a dark avocado, and that was pale avocado. Can you still use them with the... Oh, they've got buttons. That's not a real old one. Look, that's got buttons. My mum, when she was a receptionist at um, Browns of Chester, telephonist at Browns of Chester, she used to have a thing on the end of her pencil. You put it on the end of the pencil and you could use that to do your, to do your dialing so you didn't, didn't get trigger finger like I do. I've, I've forgotten my trigger finger. I've, no, I haven't forgotten. I forgot to put my Voltrol on. But you can't take Voltrol and take ibuprofen, apparently, together. Didn't know that. The lovely pharmacist told me that yesterday. Oh, got a fact from Susie, is it there or here? Here, right. Hello, John, just to let you know. Oh, hang on. Oh, you can get my new website on a Kindle using Google, but not Bing. Oh, that's re uh, That's Kindle Fire. Oh, who's that from, Tim? Susie, she's got a Kindle Fire and got the website immediately on Google, but not Bing. I, what is Bing? Oh, is it like Google? Is it Bing? I've always said that, haven't I? You can either Yahoo, Google, or Bing it. And I had no idea what I meant. I thought it was just the noise it made. Like, Bing. Anyway, thank you all for following me. There'll be lots on it soon. I've got to spend the next month really working hard on it. It'll be launched properly at the end of the month, I think. The end of January month, yeah. But there'll be newsletters before then. Right, shall I do single colours or shall I do patterns? Right, folded star block. This was Jane Alcock's, wasn't it, this one, yeah? Did you see the quilt Jane Alcock made me? The bar yellow quilt Jane Alcock made me. <gasps> Did you not see it, Paul? Oh, it's a Bargello in the most gorgeous colours. It's huge. Two pounds, this. Oh, now, did you also see on our Facebook page, um, somebody's made a whole quilt of folded stars. She says it was, weighs about four stone, she said, because it's so heavy. I'm sure it wasn't four stone. But if you think about how heavy one of those was with all the folded fabric, she had about 30 of them in one quilt. She's got a photo for me next. Oh, uh, my sister-in-law, Julie. She's saying what? Mischievous head, full tummy. It was delicious, that, from Julie. Now, what you can't see is Julie, what was the box of chocolates that was... <laughs> There's a box of chocolates on the side, right? I can't even, I can't even, I wouldn't be allowed to tell you. No, they were worse than that. So Mikey, in his, in his sack from Father Christmas, Mikey was 25, right? He got chocolate boomies, right? I know, I know. I can't even, I can't, no. 
I can't even tell you what they look. They look like slices of chocolate orange anyway, but we'll move on. <laughs> I've done that. Folded stuff. <laughs> They're all looking. They've got Paul naked upstairs now looking for a chocolate orange on his body. Right, block it. Oh, no, we're not doing that one. <laughs> I'm very confused. Friendship star. All right, friendship star. What? Oh, it is block of the month. No, but too late now. Two pounds? I'll just put that one over. Moving on. All right, uh, oh, which one do you want to next? <laughs> Origami flower cushion. This is two pounds. Do you remember they, they look like fondant fancies, don't they? <coughs> oh dear, listen to my cough. Oh, I can, I can ask for you on Monday. Two pounds. No, neither am I. Next Monday. Hannah will explain. Tell him, Hannah. Upstairs. Oh, Elaine, love my trim phone. My uncle fitted it for me when I started on call for the hospital. The dial was luminous, very collectible now. They are, Elaine, but can you dial like that? Angela's messaging as well. <clears throat> Angela's isn't coming through. Morning, John. Oh, can't watch tomorrow because I'm working from 5am. But I'll catch up later. See you in Islington, babe. What day is that? I'm there on Sunday the 29th of February. And Monday, the 1st of March. There is talk of me doing the first two days as well, but those are the two days I've definitely been booked for. Hayden! Uh, hi, John and crew. My wife, Jo, and I watch your programme almost every morning. Really sad to see you go. You will leave a big hole in our lives, Hayden and Jo. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Two pounds. Yeah, that was like those chocolates. Bad stand cushion. This one, I wonder why this one was never coloured in. Look. Yeah. Oh, it's called Village Fate. Village Fate was a different one, wasn't it? Has it got the same picture on it? Oh, OK, what's this one? Yeah, yeah, yours is called Village Fate. So it's Helen Newton, look. It was 9 pounds two pounds. Oh, there's, there's your finished thing. Then this was all your um, applique and your... Um, what's that thing called that she does like that? Free motion embroidery. Oh, and look at how they spelled fate. In it. So first of all, they've called it something it isn't, and then they spelt it wrong. That is fate. It's all fate. It's all meant to be. Two pounds. Hello, John and all. Oh, no, Sue. No, 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 no. Right, Sue, I can't say this one in. It's not their doing. It's really, really, really not their doing. It's further up the ladder. So please don't do that because you're... It's like, only, there are friends. It will only be you that misses out if you do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It won't make any difference. It's not their fault. They are just as gutted as we are. Just so you know. Photo from Anne. Oh, Anne, look at this. Uh, good morning, John and everyone. This is the first thing I've ever made since finding the programme. It was demonstrated by Janice. I've met, did yours go together? Okay. I've made some Rudy and Quilt under the guidance of Lucy Brennan and lots of other clothes. And I've been on two retreats with Jules and CL. Oh, Anne. I'm going to miss you all, especially your instructions, John. 
<laughs> I wonder what that means. I love forward to seeing you on your new venture, which I've subscribed to. Hashtag signed up. Very best wishes and Moja. Now, do I say Moja or Moga? Moja. Oh, thank you, Anne, my love. Right, imp I don't, I've never seen this. Oh, it's Claire Muir. It's Claire Muir. Her husband own, is a, owns a sewing machine shop in Hannah's Village. Two pounds. I wasn't in this day, but it's like a 3D. It's, she's lovely, Claire. She's a Benina. Uh, she goes to Festival of Quilts and then that. She's a Benina representative ambassador, isn't she? Now, these look very like those chocolates I was telling you about. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> Two pounds. Two pounds, this one is. It's an embroidered lace hibiscus. Hi oh, hang on. Hibis, hibiscus. No, that's right, hibiscus, that's right. And she's lovely, Claire Muir, isn't she? She's really gorgeous. Right, what message from what? Sue. Hello, John and all. Just let you know. No, no, Sue. Have I said this one already or is this a different one? Sue, don't. Don't do that, Sue. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I've done that one. Oh, got another Sue coming through now. I thought that was two Sues that had written the same message. No, I've still got that Sue from Staffordshire. Got it. Oh, my goodness, thank you, John. You made me giggle. I wish we had got to know little Paul better. Well, uh, uh, do you want a date, Sue? Do you want a date? He's desperate for a date. The interaction with the crew is hilarious. Now, none of you care about... What, what is it? What is it next? What don't we... The interaction with the crew is hilarious. Now, none of you care about your jobs. Is that what you... <laughs> Paul cares. Right, so Sue. Paul says you want a date. He's available. Winter and summer, look. Holiday time. Um, I'd have photoshopped the, what, the Christmas one. Oh, it is photoshopped, sorry. Just the bags under your eyes, yeah. Yeah, you still managed to go out, though. Yeah, see, I knew that would happen. Oh, I've got another Sue from Cheshire, right? Here we go, Sue again. Chesterfield, Chesterfield. Dear John and all at Certain Quarter, I discovered Certain Quarter two years ago recovering from an operation. My first mate was a Joe Carter bunny. Since then, I've watched you most weekends on YouTube. I met you at Festival Quilt this year and I've upgraded my sewing machine. What a difference it's made using a computerised machine. Now I can use two hands. I am a double... Up oh, Susan. I've signed up, of course, and look forward to more inspiration from you, John. Good luck to you all, Susan, in Chesterfield. Aww. God love you, Susan. Right, moving on. Birdcage, Victorian love birds cushion. They're the ones in, they're the ones, they look like turkeys in a cage, don't they, these? Cass will be watching as well. There's lots to this cushion, look. But you get instructions and everything, look. There's the cage, there's the scrolls, there's the birds. Decapitated turkeys, flowers. Well, everyone's still serving up cold turkey, I imagine, aren't they? Well, Hannah's not. Well, no, you've had to clear your... I hope you've emptied your bins before you go to Myanmar. She's going to be up late tonight. It'll be one of those things where you don't go to bed the night before you travel. How long's the flight? Is it that far away? Oh my word, so she flies from Birmingham to Istanbul. Two hours wait in Istanbul. Istanbul to Bangkok. Two hours. Bangkok to Myanmar, one hour. Oh, oh is it? I didn't realize it was that close. My geography is dreadful anyway, but. Right, yep. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, have you checked the, have you checked the dates? Uh, the hours aren't two hours before you get there, the floats. Oh, well, I'll check her. I'll check for her. Yeah, uh, Hannah didn't check one airport, arrived somewhere else, and then there was one when she was coming home. She flown from Heathrow, uh, got a bus ticket from Heathrow back home afterwards, and the plane, plane took it to Gatwick. I know. She's wandering around going, this doesn't look like the bus station I got my bus from into. Anyway. Two pounds. <clears throat> Two pounds. Now, this one here is your coasters. Not your coasters. What are those called? You put your plates on. Placemats. And then this is your table runner. And it's sort of an asymmetrical table runner, isn't it? Don't know Michelle. We don't know Michelle, do we? Michelle Goodfield. We never met her. Oh, there you go. There it is, you see. Two pounds. Leslie's messaging. Have watched you from the very beginning. You influenced me so much. Someone called me an influencer this week. We'll miss watching you for ideas. So will my cats, especially Jack, my rescue cat. Oh, Jack. Jack. No, he's not interested. Now, look at this one, right? From the upstairs. Wait right here. I'm just going to go and get it for you. Because it, it's right outside my dressing room. It's just through here. And I hope Lucy's not in here doing anything she shouldn't be doing. Just gone through the door into my dressing room. I'm back now. Here now. <laughs> Lucy wasn't there. Well, you, what, every time I leave the set, Lucy comes in with her hands on her hips like... And so she's my teacher. Oh, it's part of her job. Don't go, don't go. It's part of her job. Look, look, here we are. Let's recreate the picture. Hang on, I can't recreate the picture. Hang on, so there we go. There we go. <laughs> right, you don't get the toys. Oh, Lucy, she didn't catch them. Oh, do you know where they belong? They go in the box directly outside my dressing room. It's not mine, it's not mine, that's just where they've been filed. Got a message from Anne. I'll just wait for it to come up. Anyway, this is two pounds. Oh, here you go. Thank you for getting me through. Oh, two months of a broken ankle. We'll miss you all badly from Anne. Oh, Anne, you better now. Oh, where's Anne in Lancashire? I've got to ask a question. Oh, I thought it was going to be a sewing question, right, about how to make these. Has anyone else got travel insurance through the post office? Is there a number where they answer the phone? Well, it's Christmas, that's why nobody's answering the phone. Yeah. <laughs> She's got it, she just needs to double check. Okay, you can ring them, uh, ring them, what day is it? Oh no, don't ring today, ring tomorrow. Oh, you'll be at the airport too late. Have they taken your money? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh dear, we have to ring. You'll have to ring on Monday from the airport. Here we go. This is the one where the birds have got out the cage. Oh, there's only one bird actually. I thought there were two on that. Oh, it's a. So this is a love bird. Oh no, we didn't call it. It wasn't called love birds in the end. Why not? I don't know what song Hannah's singing to you all, but... Paul's got bleeding eardrums now. Sorry, it missed the end of the message off. It was none of you care about TV rules, i.e. <laughs> drinking coffee, and the banter is funnier. No. 
We do care about the rules, we stick to the rules, but yes, we did have a rule at this channel that when we first started, because other channels, people are allowed to drink cups of tea, we made a conscious decision that nobody was meant to drink a cup of tea on air. But I think it, but then, and also respect to the project, imagine if you spilt the project over the floral dance quilt. This is a rose, isn't this one by Rosemary? This is a Rosemary Smith one, this one. Floral dance quilt instructions from Rosemary. She's the Ludlow quilter, is Rosemary. Two pounds. So who got engaged over Christmas then? We know Lauren that we used to work with. She did. We guessed she, they, she would. They, we saw them at Vix's party. And um, I said, oh, he's bound to propose to you on the ski slopes over Christmas. And he did. And it was a big diamond as well. He's obviously loaded. Um, and they live near Jane in Eccleshaw. Well, Jane doesn't live in Eccleshaw, but they live in Eccleshaw. Yeah. Two pounds. And... Uh, Cherry's boys, they got uh, quad bikes for Christmas. It's the joy of social media, isn't it? You think you can get to join everyone's Christmas without actually being there. Did Father Christmas bring you a laptop? No, just because you've taken one from the office doesn't mean to say... Ah, <laughs> oh, Father Christmas brought her a laptop, that's nice. You're not taking it away with you, are you? No. Um, that's nice. Our friend Karen got a car from her boyfriend. Was, was it brand new? I bet it was. I bet, it's, I bet it was. I know. I know how they'll have worked, worked done that one. Blue one. It's blue. We don't know if it's brand new. It's blue. The Emma Pinafore. Did you ask for? Oh no, I won't do that on air. Anyway, this is the Empire Pinafore dress. I'm just looking, is it stretch, this one? Medium weight woven fabric. Oh, no, cotton, cotton, chambray and cord. It looks like a stretch one, doesn't it? But it's not. I don't know if we've made that one or not. So Hannah's not ready. She hasn't tied in her house. She hasn't packed her bag. She hasn't checked her travel insurance. Uh, she's leaving first thing in the morning, going out tonight. The fire dress, again, size is 6 to 20. Oh, you've not got that one. That was, oh. Now, this has got an unusual side to it. Look. I get pulled. It's got a lined fitted bodice with a statement cut out side panel, two length options, and cap sleeves. Two dresses, dress A and dress B. Two pounds. Like to swing on a star. Picture of who? Oh, okay, not a picture of words. Here we go. To John and all the lovelies at Sand Quarter, just want to say thank you for the inspiration and entertainment. I watch most weekends and I agree with what most people have said. It's more like having a happy sewing family on telly. I'm getting all chucked up writing it. Oh, no, God. Uh. But on a positive note, I suppose I'll be able to leave the house before lunchtime in the new year. Seriously, thank you all. Lots of love and I miss you badly. Oh, from Tainis. Hashtag signed up. You've given me the courage to start my own hand embroidery business in the next year when I move and I can set up a studio. <gasps> now, now, Hannah, that's Gin Poodle. That's Jim Poodle, and I got four, she makes the most gorgeous snoods, does Tainis, and I got two poodles that the gin bottles go in for Hannah. Do you use them, Hannah? I've not been round to her, so I don't know. When I come round to look through your window while you're not there, well, I'll better see them. Okay. What's this, then? Back pack pattern. Doesn't seem to have any... Introduction. Oh, it's from say, saying, um... So there's your panel, your pattern pieces, there's your instructions. 
two pounds. What's nine ninety nine, Paul? Right, you heard. Let's put that one in there. Oh no, Julie! Oh, hang on. Oh, I'll ring. Oh, hang on. Julian Great London. Oh, Julian Great London. Uh, she's this is the last time I'm going to message in because I'm so upset. Um, watch tomorrow, though, Julie. Lots of love. Lots of love to you. Neve says, "Good morning, John and team." I'm just devastated you won't be live anymore. Oh, I was made redundant just before Christmas. Oh. Yeah, she was going to spend her time watching us. Watch on YouTube because you've had three years worth of... Sorry, we're live on air, Thomas. You know, you're saying, Jean. Hi, John. I take apple cider vinegar for my trigger finger. What, do you drink it or do you put your finger in it? Uh, love to you all. Good luck for 2020, Jean. Hang on, apple cider vinegar. Tell me, Jean, I need to know. Hey, what? Oh, Hannah does her hair with apple cider vinegar. Uh, let me know what you do with it, because Paul's saying if you take it neat, it burns your throat. Right, Jean, I need more information, please. Apple cider vinegar. It's got what? Of what? Oh, so you have to mix it with, like, water or something. Anyway, Jean, you tell me what you do with yours. Because Paul's trying to give me instructions through my earpiece now. Assorted multicoloured safety pins. They're assorted sizes and colours. Oh, now, yes, now, this is a bit naughty. Because, look, it's got that in the bottom of the jar to make it look fuller. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah. Look. So you've got lime green ones, you've got blue ones, you've got purple ones, you've got red ones. All different sizes. Oh, what's Anne saying? Thanks, John. I'm now walking with a stick hobbling, but physio is helping. I'll get on with my stash now from Anne. Oh, Anne had the broken ankle, didn't she? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Anyway, how much are those? Oh, a pound? That'd be good for your present cupboard, wouldn't it? <laughs> Paul hasn't got a present cupboard. Uh, where are you all off to on New Year's Eve? Nosy Sue. I'm just finishing my costume as I'm off to a very posh party where the evening entertainment is a murder mystery. Oh, I can't bear those murder mysteries. Unless it's a play. But I can't bear those things where you sit around the table and you go off and one of you has to die and the others have to work it out. Anyway, Sue, where are you going? Very posh party. Very, in capital letters. Very posh party. I'm going next door, I think. Um, I should have been going to London. My friend Denise is over from New York City. Oh, tell you, well, she, she's a TV producer, or film, and t I met her on Interview with Vampire, and she's the one who, who first called me Johnny Rotten. And then, when I was only working in the film industry, everyone called me Johnny Rotten, you see, and she started that off. Anyway, she's popped over for like two days to go to a party in uh, Highbury and Islington. Music producers. She's staying with music producers. I know. I know, networking. Right, next. Tom singing a song for you, Denise. Oh, she might be watching, actually. She said she was going to tune in today. Denise Pinkley from New York City. Hello, my lovely. Paul wants a job, he says. Don't know what he'd do. There he is. Tom wants a job as well. I haven't got a picture of Tom, I'm afraid. Oh. Buttons in a jar. There's a song about that, isn't there? I'm not going to tip these out. You get assorted buttons. They're random. Two pounds. They were four nine times. It's a pin cushion. This is plastic. Two pounds. Maybe you should become an eco warrior, Paul. Because he's very passionate about um, plastics and palm trees. No, palm oil. Palm oil. Palm oil. Where does the palm oil come from? A palm tree. Oh, doesn't it? Where does it come from? 
tree sound, palm trees. What trees are they then? We'll find out. Is she going to be an eco warrior? I had palm, when I go to this restaurant in San Diego, one of the dishes has palm in it and it's delicious. But not, if it's the same thing, I can't, shouldn't have that if it's the same thing. Rainforest. Well, how do you know these aren't rainforest? <laughs> Main Street. In San Diego. Isn't that by the sea? Might be different. And oh, it's called palm oil tree. Okay, that's right. I haven't had one of those. My nails look nice today, don't they? Anyway, two pens. P writing. Writing. Hi, John and guys. Now, apparently you're not allowed to say guys anymore. That's not politically... I was told over Christmas it's not politically correct. Anyway, hi, John and guys. We will miss you all. We will miss all the loves and mischief. Our mornings and weekends won't be the same. Signed up, and we can't wait to see what you'll get up to in the new year. Get on with that book of yours. We want to read it. All the best, 2020. Love and hugs, Mel and Bess from the Wirral. Now Mel and Bess, I was on the Wirral over the Christmas. Didn't see you. Didn't see you, and I went all over the place. I was in Greasby. I went to the Tesco's. You know the Tesco's in Great Sutton. I was there. It used to be a petrol station. This isn't in my book. Uh, and where else did I go over the Wirral? Oh, it was, it was Mike and Julie's, obviously. No. Next. The eyes. This is a bit freaky. They should get two eyes, two pairs of eyes, sorry. What size are they? Doesn't say. Nine millimetre. Nine millimetre eyes. Never lose it. Hang on. I would need to pet. Oh, yeah, if you're under three, we advise you not to put these in toys if you're going to give the toy to an under three-year-old. Did you buy him some new ones? You can buy him new ones. Oh, he'll remember that for the rest of his life. Little Paul, just so you know what we're talking about, Little Paul's nephew got a guitar from Father Christmas, said, oh, Uncle Paul, could you tune it for me? Uncle Paul tuned it and bro broke two strings. Uh, Georgina, I loved the shows you did with Lucy. They were so funny, the juicy shows. Oh, no, it seems ages ago now, doesn't it? Also, both granddaughters are now sewing, and the 14-year-old is doing her... I presume it must be GCSE. Yeah, because um, um, uh, over Christmas when we were at Nana's, two of her grandchildren were there. And one of them started, he only looks like a little child. And he's doing his, uh, it's a year early. You know, some schools, when you're clever, do two O levels a year early. But he's doing an O level now. It's frightening. Anyway, next, needles. Is that all of these? Oh, they're all singular. Okay. Big eye quilting needles, that's this one. You're a bit late for that now. Anybody got any recommendations of what book Hannah should buy at the airport to go on the plane? 60p. She likes... Oh, she only got a heavy read she's taking. She wants a light read to take with her. Depends whose it is, though, doesn't it? No, mine's not ready for reading. It's got no pictures in it yet. Sixty p for those. Next, it's tw twenty-four hours. One magazine's not going to last twenty-four hours. <gasps> Oof. At least you've got your two two-hour stayovers. You get a nice coffee or something in the airport. Oh, you'll be real, you'll be right smelly as well when you get there after 24 hours. Right now. What's next? What? No. Embroidery needles. 40p. Ah, oh, no, 40p. Got nobody to go for coffees today either, have we? See, we could send Lucy out in between shows, in between trolleys. 
Oh, it's Sunday, nothing will be open, will it? 40p, these. Who's that from? Okay, let's have a read of this then. There's a lot of words here, right? I think she meant to send this to my phone, but she sent it here. So hang on, this is Julie, my sister. Yeah, go on then, let's have a look. Dear John, any of those safety pins left over, please bring next time you visit. Oh, that's because she's put weight on, right? Her words, not mine. I thought she looked gorgeous. I'm all searching for safety pins. You can pay the one pound and pay, save me the postage. I wonder what that funny little thing is at the end there. She uses emojis a lot, does Julie. No one has eaten the ch <laughs> The chocolate, that's a vomit. What was the emoji from before? Laughing face. This one's a vomiting face. If they're in the jungle. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So the chocolates I was talking about earlier. If they're in the jungle, they belong to camels or kangaroos. Yes, they were. Hannah. Alex, my, ni my niece, she's iced in at the airport. Plane can't land, so she's stuck in Sweden. Well, that's no heart. That's no loss, is it? Stuck with her gorgeous boyfriend in Sweden. Oh, he's low. Alex, my niece, is so beautiful. I love her to bits, right? And she's got this beautiful boyfriend called Rasmus. And they've been in Sweden for, for Christ Christmas. And they were in a main town. And then, of course, they went out to... And she put on her, on her Instagram, like, all these reindeers running around and everything. And then they got to the little lodge, and it was like a... I, it, was, it was like a veranda little lodge in heavy, thick, thick snow like this. And then she sent me a picture of the inside and it was like a log burner all f fired up in the corner of the room. It looked beautiful. Anyway, what's next? Uh, uh. Needles, we haven't even started the embroidery thread yet. I can go through into the next hour, don't worry. Because the next hour's just the same. 60p. <laughs> you can get a needle threader with that one, Paul. Maybe you should learn to sew, Paul. Then you could make yourself... Cl Georgina's continued. The youngest granddaughter is doing textiles and hoping to continue it on into a career. Now, Molly, my, my, my neighbour, she started in textiles. She absolutely loves it. What's next? Quilting next. Tell Hannah secrets of sewing bee or the sewing machine. Hang on, don't stand there. Sharon, is this your mum? Shout out. No, it's in Hampshire. Tell Hannah. Oh, these are your books. These are your books, Hannah. Secrets of the sewing bee or the sewing machine. She doesn't want the sewing machine book. <laughs> 40p. Secrets of Sewing Bee. Aren't they normally hardback, the Sewing Bee books? New series coming out soon. <gasps> and Hannah, you're going to miss the great. <laughs> yes! Well, I couldn't think of the words. The Great British Pottery Throwdown. It's not Sarah Cox, though, is it? It's Melanie Sykes. And even though I've done a show with Melanie Sykes, I think Sarah Cox was perfect for it. Maybe, may, um, you see, I, I'm willing to be um, swayed because I thought when the cake baking one went over with Sandy and Noel, I wouldn't love it, and I love it so much. Oh, Helen, Helen, thank you, she says, for your recommendation for books. Oh, that sounds a perfect book for Hannah. Oh, what's it called, the book? Family Upstairs, that sounds fascinating. I'm not going to read it out because some people might be put off their Sunday morning breakfast. Well, you won't be getting that, will you? Have you downloaded lots of things onto your iPad to watch on the plane? Uh, here we go, another one. Dear John and team, We'll miss the banter with John and little Paul. Mm. I've been enjoying sewing culture for a short time since I retired. Love watching all. I've swapped work for sewing. I'm now a sewaholic instead of a workaholic. Wish I'd found you years ago. Oh, and good luck. Oh, Annie C to you all. John, I've signed up for your new adventure. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Oh, you will, Annie. Don't you worry. Right, which one of these am I doing? 
quilting pebble. It's not a real pebble. I've told you I've got a friend called Pebble, haven't I? Well, we have nice banter, Paul, you and me. Oh, he doesn't agree. I can't tell you what he's just said. 72p, Lisa. What's he pulling a face for? Okay, 72p. Little Paul's ill, in case you hadn't heard. Oh, hang on, I'm unchanged. It's stuck. Here we go. Pebble Tapestry. Oh. What's the matter? Marjorie, is that on here or there? Okay, we'll wait and see if it goes. Yeah, uh, no, I've still got Sharon's at the moment. Hi, John. It's arrived. Best wishes to all. You are a national treasure. Well, it needs to be buried, you mean. Uh, we'll miss all your stories. Oh, but you've signed up. You see, you'll get more stories being signed up because there's not as many rules. I have to keep some of my stories, you know. They'll all be in the book. The posh party is in Cornwall, says Sue. I can't say whose party he wouldn't be pleased. His house and grounds overlook the cliffs near Lou. I know who that is. Is it a celebrity? Not Neil Jordan, is it? And it's not Gloria Honeyford. It's the one who lives next door to them. Anyway, what's the new venture that people are signing up for, says Jackie in Winchester. Jackie? This. Hannah signed up. Now, also, when you've signed up, because if you could go to the page, the holding page at the moment, click on any of the blue boxes and it'll take you to my subscribe. You don't have to pay. You just subscribe to the newsletter. Some people are getting a thing back saying to confirm it and other people aren't, but they're still going through. But check your junk box for your first one. Um, and also, if you go right down to the bottom, you can also join the Facebook page that goes with it. There it is. Do you like the embroidery? Mandy Shaw did that for me. Anyway, two T's, two S's, remember. Right. Let's start the stranded threads, Cottons. <laughs> oh, I can see now why she didn't want to do it. So is the thread called 844 or our number called 844? That's not it then. I've got... I haven't got our numbers. 844, it's not brown. No. It's a sort of dark colour anyway. Oh, they haven't even given it names. Oh, they apparently had a show like this yesterday and they were naming them. I'd call this one Mole. Mole skin. Yeah, 43p. This is the lining of a farmer's hat after a long day, apparently, according to Hannah, from far away. I'd just say moleskin myself. It's got a green tinge to it. Right, no, next one. No, you go, you go. I'm quite happy to pick yours. Give me a clue. Three, three, five, four. Three, three, five, four. There we go. I'd call this... What was that gemstone we had this colour? They were very rare. I can't remember now. Must have been a sapphire, very soft sapphire, mustn't it? Okay, the nose of a pig freshly washed is ha from a distance is Hannah's choice of colour. I'm just going to say 3354 was one pound and eight pence. It's now 43p. It's a fantastic just to build your stash. Yeah, marshmallows at the circus, Paul says. That's a very cafe name, isn't it, that? 
Paul, maybe you should go and work for Cave. You'll travel the world. It's what? Oh, all signed up. That's the hashtag, new hashtag. Next one, what colour? Dark purple, 550. No, obviously not. Or 09. 550, that's this one. It's like an imperial um, spiritual purple. This is Hannah's new game. The velvet in a king's shoe from a distance. Hannah's loving this game. Paul's loving it, so we'll go, keep going with it. Tom's asleep. Tom, you can join in the game, apparently. Or at home, you can join in at home if you like. But by the time your messages come through and we've got them to the screen, we'll have moved on. We'll have moved on. It's what? Okay, next one is, oh, oh is it 09 or is it 60? Is that 09 or 60? And in between, in between the start and the end of the shows, what do you do next door? It's, what's it open today? Canteen? No. Is anything open today? No, she said, no, it's all shut. Everything's shut today, so she doesn't have to go. It's either 09 or 60. 09, yeah. Oh, they didn't put the O on. That's what threw her. What colour's this, then? I'd say it was dusted Yule log, this one. <laughs> From a distance. After a glass of mulled wine. Oh, they haven't had any mulled wine upstairs this year. Did you have any mulled wine at your Christmas? Oh, yeah, Lucy did. Did you? No. I still haven't had any alcohol. Oh, yeah, so you fibbed. Christmas, Christmas Day was the last time Hannah had alcohol. When did you help us have some alcohol, Lucy? About 10 minutes ago. Friday. Friday. Okay, two days ago. Tom? Uh, probably Christmas Day. Christmas Day. New Year's Eve last year, mine. But do I can't decide whether to start drinking again on this New Year's Eve and just get, but then I might get so drunk and show myself up. Anyway, moving on. Next one is 03. So to you, Hannah, that will be three. Silvery grey. See, it's much easier when you pick them. Baby seal is what Paul's calling it. I'm calling it, uh, whose walls were that colour? Whose walls were that beautiful house that we looked at? Do you remember with the grey walls and the white fireplace? I've not been to yours, so I don't know yours, Paul. Was it Teresa's? And Anyway. 43p, number three. It's like bingo, this, isn't it? It's suddenly gone very cold in here. No, Paul, you'd be a rubbish bingo caller. You're too thin to start with. Right, 3815 is next. Oh, you write that later. And that is not leek green. Yeah, asparagus, I'd say. No, no. The asparagus got more yellow in it. Um, fondant icing, I'd say. <laughs> it's like embroidery skin, right? Okay. 
right? This one is 415. No, well, four, no, the other one was, um, oh, I can't reach it now. Was three. 415. This is dull telly, isn't it? Paul's hair is this one. And he's got no hair on his head, remember? Chest hair. Paul's chest wig. Who's messaging? Oh, Gerardine. Hi, John, Hannah and the crew. Just want to wish you all Happy New Year, filled with love, good health and happiness. Lots of she can't watch tomorrow, Gerardine. That's the problem. 993. Because people got to go to work tomorrow. Hannah's at work now, she'll be at the airport this time. To, what time? Do you, is it 10 o'clock your flight tomorrow? Oh, so you'll just be, they'll be, uh, Miss McCain to gate number 47, you're late. That's what'll happen tomorrow. I don't know, what number did I read out? 993, yeah. Everyone will stare at you because you'll be down the back of the plane as well, won't you? And there'll be no room for your bag, overhead luggage. She's going to be on time. And who are you flying with British Airways? Air Turkey. Just to warn you, Hannah is on your flights tomorrow. Oh, yeah. How, that, yes, they did this yesterday. How does Hannah get an upgrade tomorrow? Do they have an upgrade on Turkey Airlines? I'm not, no, I'm not dissing Turkish Airlines. I've just never, ever flown with them. Because some aeroplanes you get on American Airlines, there is no upgrade. That, that you know, on some of them anyway. Uh, we're going for a break now, but we'll come back and we'll carry on with this scintillating um, show. But in the meantime, how does Hannah get an upgrade with Turkish Airlines? Surely it was no an air, an air hostess. I'll see you in three. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. We're obsessed with designer fabric at Sewing Quarter. From the quirky prints of Tula Pink and K Facet to the more traditional William Morris and Liberty. With our great discounts and capped delivery of just £2.95, who could resist topping up the stash? Check out all the gorgeous fabric we have on offer on our website www.sewingquarter.com and see our top 10 picks on our Pinterest page. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. From gorgeous florals to nursery rhyme themed prints and paisley, our Lessienne fabrics are great for all your vintage style makes. And what's more, they're at a discounted price. Visit our website at www.sewingquarter.com to view the full range and discounts. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. Have you heard about the Sewing Quarter Fans Facebook group? It is a great place to chat to fellow SQ viewers, presenters and guest designers. 
share sewing and quilting tips and see what other fans have made. You will even receive exclusive offers and find out about new products and projects before anyone else. Simply search for Sewing Quarter Fans on Facebook to join the group and be part of the SQ community. Follow us on Facebook to see some of our favourite makes that we have coming up, which fabulous guests will be joining us and some of our fantastic offers and discounts. We also hold one-off Facebook Lives with special guests and demonstrations exclusive to Facebook. Just search for Sewing Quarter on Facebook to find us. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. Did you know that you can stay up to date with all of Sewing Quarter's demonstrations with our email newsletter? Our newsletter brings you regular updates on what is coming up on the show, as well as exclusive offers, discounts and events we will be at. Be the first to know what's coming up by signing up for our newsletter. You can do all this by heading to our website and clicking on the newsletter button. All we need is your email. Davinia, we need to get you on social media, don't we? Davinia's messaging, Shanna, don't do any social media, so I can't follow Paul, can't follow Hannah. You need to, just to see Hannah's, because um, Hannah's photos when she travels are amazing. Uh, this is Hannah, everybody, patterns and place. If you want to watch Hannah while she's, not watch her, but, you know, see her on her travels in Myanmar. Patterns and place. Or if you want to go to her private one, it's McBabe8. McBabe8. Paul's, on the other hand, is this one. The Duke, no, the underscore Duke 111. Nothing to do with John Wayne. Lots of you are saying, oh, he's taking that from John Wayne. Nothing to do with John Wayne. I know he walks funny, but it's not that. Uh, then there's also Tom's. Tom's got an longer picture. And he's also, his uh, Instagram is? Tom Curtis Photos. Tom Curtis Photos. At Tom Curtis Photos. Just Tom Curtis. Oh, Thomas Curtis Photo. Nobody calls you Thomas here, do they? That makes him look quite posh, that, doesn't it, Thomas? Vixes. Instagram, two underscore tone underscore acoustic. Now, she got several bookings last night uh, when she got home after she's done this on air. And at Two Tone Official is their Facebook. That is not her husband. That is Laura's boyfriend, Andrew. And that's not Vix's lounge. Uh, my one is this one www.johnscottsewingworld.com johnscottsewingworld.com or of course my uh, Facebook my John Scott Facebook is full so it's also a John Scott Sewing World Facebook page as well and Natasha's we haven't got a slide for Natasha for some reason hers is now Natasha's Makes Natasha's Makes is Natasha's um, so go and see that there and she'll be in uh, in the last hour tomorrow with more news for you um, I'm not allowed to tell you what news she's got news in the last hour for you tomorrow Right. I think I can tell you my news whenever I can't. I? Anyway. Well, I'm writing a book. I've got a magazine deal. Um, I'm going to be on the front cover of a magazine as well. And no, with my clothes on. Nine pound. No, not nine pound twenty. Nine hundred and twenty. Nine hundred and twenty, this one. Like a. Like ginger. Yeah, I'm doing sales. <laughs> oh, it's going to end up in tears today. Not good tears, I think. I think there might be a punch. They're no, not punching. Uh, what's it called? There's got to be another one, isn't there? We've done Vic, done Natasha, done me, done Tom, done Paul. Jesse won't have one. Uh, Chris, oh, Chris is doing a podcast about beer. I can't, he'll tell you tomorrow. Chris is on tomorrow. He'll tell you what his podcast is tomorrow. Anyway, 920. What colour would you call that? Oh, now it looks much more orange in real life than it does... Uh, no, on the telly than it does in real life. It's like... Um, 
a bit like Laura's hair. But it's more like there's a spice. I've got a spice. I won't say nutmeg, but I'm not sure if it's nutmeg. Oh, okay. And why would you do that? <laughs> Wasn't I finding something out in the break? I wasn't meant to find something out in the break. No, never mind, moving on. No, no, uh, what is it the Chinese people take every, cinnamon, is it a spoonful of cinnamon? Weight loss, yeah. 3851, but it's very difficult to swallow. 3851. <laughs> Like eating a donut without licking your lips. Oh, do you know what? Shall I go via Tesco's tonight and get some... Um... Oh, no, 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 I don't need to bring donuts. Don't need to bring donuts. Bring a cake tomorrow. I didn't realise today was all our last shifts together. What colour? It's something to do with the mermaid, Hannah thinks, but she can't think what. Moving on. Now, I watched Coronation Street on Christmas Day uh, for the first time in years, right? The first thing that struck me is Cara and Michelle. Who's Michelle play? Or is that a character called Michelle? You know who I mean, the one from here, so. Go, obviously go to the same hairdressers. When they gave each other a hug, you couldn't tell. Wasn't it the worst episode in the world? Oh, it was appalling. I haven't watched it for years and years and years, and I won't be watching it again. 3733 is this colour. Not the opinions of the company, just my own opinions, and Julie's and Mike's. 3733. No. The neighbours do a Christmas special. No. I didn't watch EastEnders, no. I watched a film about a dog called Enzo. Oh, when it started, right, it was, it was supposed to be... No, it was... No, 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 it was called... I thought it was going to be a, one about car racing. And Mike and Julie said, oh, should you watch this? And it was like, I thought, oh, why don't I watch a film about Formula One? It was like, it was called something like Learning to Drive in the Rain or something like that. And then it starts off, right, and it's the dog narrating the whole story. Right? Right, no, no, and I thought, I started watching thinking, oh, I'm not going to watch this, I'm going to go to bed in a minute, this is boring. <gasps> oh, morning, I, I tell you who's in it, you know the girl in Mamma Mia that plays the daughter in Ma Meryl Streep's daughter in Mamma Mia? She's in it. Uh, morning, John, I know you did this last year, can't believe where the time's gone. Can you wish my hubby Craig happy birthday? Craig! Happy birthday, Craig, with lots of love from Ruth up there in Lanarkshire. I know. I'll have to, do, have to do it from my own website next year, won't I, LaRouche? Have you signed up? In there or here? Okay. Diane, morning, John. What a trooper with us till the end. Oh, well, we need the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, because some of us are freelance, they so just get paid when we work. How is little Paul? Well, he's upstairs. I have to say, he looks a bit peaky. He's on oxygen. He's on steroids and not the ones that make your back spotty and make you muscly. And he's on amoxicillin um, antibiotics and he's got to go back to the doctors tomorrow. And he's, his chest feels like somebody's put their fingers underneath his rib cage there. It's really hurting him. But Puff Day's fine. He still managed to go out and get drunk on Christmas Day with his mum. And today's his last day. But yet, oh, I'm not going to go there. No, I'm not saying it. No, no I wasn't being going to be horrible, Paul. I was going to be nice, but three eight four nine. This one's called three eight four nine. What's the matter? This is three eight four nine. Okay, troll hair from a distance. Under the bridge, Hannah's saying. Morning, thanks for the giggles. My cat Lucy has just swore at me for giving her meds. Oh, isn't it awful? Tell her to behave. It's so horrible because Norman, um, oh, how many Christmas cards do I get saying to John and Norman? 
And I suppose people have wrote that, had written them before the beginning of December, haven't they? Anyway, um, I hate Kevin because they look at you as if to say, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Why are you putting this pill down my throat and everything? Why are you giving me this horrible medicine? But then they've forgotten about it, give them some food. But I always find it really sad. I did find it really sad. But I'm going to get a Padenko, I think. A Padenko, there's a rescue, Padenko rescue in... I can't remember if it's Hertfordshire or Herefordshire, but they're lovely Padenkos. 700! Oh, sorry, you've not moved on. Oh, sorry, sorry, hon. Maybe you should tell me that at the beginning. The grass in the neighbourhood of Edward Sissand, I'd say a really Colum good Colombian or, uh, or, yeah, Colombian emerald myself. Never lose it. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She knows. Can I put this one down now? I got told off putting the last one down too quickly. That's why I'm saying that. 422. This is like that pudding you used to get at school with chocolate sprinkles on the top and like a butterscotch swabble in the middle. A what? Or butterscotch angel delight. But we used to get this pudding at school and somebody sent me the recipe when we first started. It was like pastry. Then it had like a gelatinous thing in the middle, it was this colour, and then it had sh uh, chocolate shavings on the top. It was my favourite, favourite school dinner pudding. <gasps> Plink, remember Pink Blancmange? Oh, we didn't have pizzas at my school. They hadn't been invented in that by then, sort of thing. Well, not, not, not invented, but it's not school dinner invented. I went to one school in... Um, Brampton, RAF Brampton, they made their own baked beans and they were the most disgusting things you ever tasted. No. And do you know, uh, in the forces, how they cook baked beans, they cook them in the oven. You know, put them in a big pan, stir it. They, in a big, not in the tin, in a big tray like that. Oh, does he? But how he opens the tin, doesn't he? Oh, he puts the tin in the oven. How weird. Well, also, it means you haven't got to wash the pan afterwards, doesn't it? What number is this, sorry? Three, seven, eight, two. Oh, did you do a poached egg? Is that a fried egg? Oh, that sounds nice. Maybe I'll have that. What am I having for my dinner tonight? I don't want to eat waffles, though. Paul's going out for a curry. It's like the kill him or cure him. Blow a few of the, blow some of the cobwebs away later, won't it? <coughs> Who are you going for a curry with? Ah, gooseberry again, gooseberry curry. Seven two two. Are you going to what's his name's curry house? <coughs> Do you remember? Um, was he called Erman? In the where? He owns it. Oh, he doesn't work there, he just uh, owns it. Oh, has he sold it? How can they fire him? He owned it. It's his family's business. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. For your discount. I, mean, I know the owner. Rat Honey, it's called, or something like that. Yeah. And yet, but he's still posting on it. Oh, well. But you're not going there. What colour would say this one was? Tangerine? Tangerine dream, says Paul. Oh, I'm not quite sure where tangerine went. <laughs> yeah, I like this colour. Oh, so I'm giving you a number, have I? 3821. <clears throat> it's a lovely colour. <clears throat> oh, we all coughed at the same time then. Spun gold. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. 
Rapunzel, Paul would call it. Where's Fiona, here or there? It'll come through in a second. Oh, Fiona says, why are you surprised, John? They're called baked beans. Why would you be surprised they're cooked in the oven? I thought they were called baked beans because they'd already been baked already for you to then warm up in the saucepan. But I only know that because a friend of mine, she used to work, she was like in the, I don't know what armed forces she was in, but she was a chef. And um, it's not a nice story, this at all. Anyway, she pulled the tray of beans out of the oven like that and then slipped and they went all over and she burnt all her legs with these baked beans. Uh, yes, my lovely, I have signed up. I'm so excited. Good luck to the team. Hannah, enjoy your holiday and hope you make it to the airport. Oh, if she doesn't now, there'll be... I'll ring her in the morning to make sure she's on the way. So this is 922. She'll be there because it's not like it's, she's got to be there at three o'clock in the morning. She'll be fine. But she needs to get her, not go out with Karen and Greg tonight. She needs to stay at home and pack, really, and sort her life out. And have you sorted all your bills out while you're not here? Yeah, but you won't know that they've arrived. Oh, OK. Everything. Oh. 43p, these are. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, that's okay. So, um, and we're talking about Hannah going away for a month. She's got the neighbours going in every day and then her dad's coming over for two days a week. So this, the house is going to be... Um, you're, you know, you said you are going to leave the heating just on 15 for the whole time. It's going to be going on full, full all the time, isn't it? Oh, sorry, number, sorry, number. 918. Chocolate mousse. Affordable chocolate mousse. Yeah, we not much chocolate in, I imagine. Be one of those that you keep in the freezer and just bring them out at emergencies. Anyway, moving on. Oh, it's a pretty colour. 3743. Like a very, very soft, I'd call that platinum. It's got a lilac tinge to it. It's like those um, ladies who have their hair dyed that kind of metallic -y pink colour. It always looks very, very chic. 3743. Hang on then, hang on, hang on. I've got uh, number two coming up. I've got number 809 coming up. I've got 3731 coming up. And I've got 8 coming up. Oh, after all that, we haven't got that one. I'll tell Lucy in a minute. Why's Lucy got it out then, if it's not on the list? OK, let's do... Oh, Lucy! 02. Oh, <laughs> 43p. Lucy. Hannah can't find that one. <laughs> There's only three left, Paul, to you, all right. Oh, it might not be you, Hannah. It might be Lucy. Eight oh nine. Is your thingy gone again? You need a haircut time, by the way. So do I. Yeah, did cut one. Oh, it's bouffanted out a bit today. Forty-three. What? Just saying. As a friend. Hashtag. Just saying. I am as well. I want to. Um, it's because we were talking about food a minute ago. Three, seven, three, one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Paul wants a donut. I'd like something savoury, I think. Three, 
Three seven three one. What are you going? What, what time are you going out? Oh, you got ages yet. You can have something to eat now. You brought anything in with you? Oh, it's not Lucy. It's the warehouse. That's what they're saying. Three seven three one, and then last one. Oh wait. Okay, that's the end of those. Now it's only 22, I'll do some felts now. Not, 20, not 22, 20 past. <laughs> oh no, felt. Right, we'll be on this a while because I've got quite a few of these to shift. Oh no, <laughs> it's a pound. We'll stay on this because I've got 500 of these. Oh! Uh, this is 100% pure wool felt. Pa it's not powder blue, it's corn flour. It is. Well, I did, couldn't hear what was on the other end of your conversation with Lucy. All I, when I said it's not powdered, but it's called flay, went, no, it's not. One pound. That platinum one I can't bring you because the wrong one had been sent up. I was going to have a lemp sip earlier, but I don't think I need it now. No. Yeah, I don't know where they are. I think they're in my bag. Lucy's going to have to delve into my satchel, though. Yeah, it's fine. Have I got any messages? No, I'm not having a fight. No, 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 no. I said something nice about you right at the beginning of the show. Kind of two in one go. You see, you've forgotten. You've forgotten already. Yeah, I've not been, I've been taken off the guest list now. I used to be invited to these parties near where, well, very close to where Paul lives. It is because I checked. Pound. Slide. Good morning, John, and the weekend crew. Yeah, they only work weekends. Oh, you are my Saturday and Sunday treat. I work from Monday to Friday. But I watch Saturday quarter weekends from the start, and I love the giggles. All the right best to you all for 2020. Jackie, Bradford in West Yorkshire. P.S. I've signed up. Winky face. Now, why do some... Why do some emojis come through as emojis and other people's don't? Anyway, thank you, Jackie, my love. That's the blue one. Now, now you know, I had 500 of the blue one. These are very limited, the mottled grey. I've got one of these. Oh, the graphic, there you go. Taupe, melange, spelt incorrectly. Melange. Taupe, melange. Paul doesn't like it. That says it looks itchy. It's not. Of course, there's more people in baskets. There's only one of them, wasn't there? Should we do this then? Because you need the felt for. I can only have a few of these left because we've had this on every single day for about three weeks. Okay. Oh, Tom wants this one. I'll get it for you, Tom. How much is it? Two pounds. He's pulling a funny face. Going, What's she talking about? What's she talking about? How many are left? You see, there's only 20 left. We started off with about 800 of these. I've got 20 left now. That's it. So I need to stay in tomorrow, then to go on the website. Oh, by the way, the website will stay open. 
after we've stopped transmitting. Which will be tomorrow at one o'clock. He hasn't got a car though, has he, Jesse? No, because he's on one day. It wasn't Christmas Eve, but a couple of days before Christmas Eve, he put on Facebook, didn't he? Stuck on the M40, broken down on the M40. He was going to another job. Um, and he was stuck on the M40, couldn't get to the job. He does lots of freelance work, doesn't he? I'm sure he doesn't moan at those. Oh, wet yourself, Wendy's messaged in. Oh, hang on, what's the picture of? Hang on, look a bit weird. Good morning, John, everyone. Happy memories. Wet yourself, Wendy. Were you the... Oh, no, look at the quilt behind. The quilt behind is the one Wet Yourself Wendy made for me. Yeah, she's not, she's not that little. She's not that little. I look very skinny there, don't I? Now, that was before... That was before I got snowed in, wasn't it? Because we had the quilt... Uh, in my house when I got snowed in. Anyway, oh, it's, it's not a date on it now. Look, it must have been Easter time, because look at the Joe Carter Easter... That means nothing, says Hannah. Oh, thank you, wait yourself, Wendy, my love, with the spotty kitchen. Right, oh. I've got patterns galore now. Now, they go all over the place. They're very random. Oh, have you? That's what I was just looking for. Oh, yes, there it is. So Lucy's just put them in any old order now. Which one do you want first? 14 to 20. Oh, wait, the code ends 14. Mine haven't got stickers on them. 6 to 12, there you go. That's this one. That's the reason they're in the wrong order, because they haven't got... St oh, oh, no, they haven't got stickers on them. Two pounds... I heard Lucy's changing her phone number and her address and everything. That's when Hannah comes back, she can't find her. Hannah's going to come back with her husband, I think. No, but you might find a gemologist. Because the rubies come from Myanmar, don't they? There's a whole gem museum there. Or did they get jade from Myanmar as well? Oh, I didn't know that. But we know, when we worked at Rocks, our jade didn't come from Myanmar, did it? Oh, Chinese jade, of course, yeah. Anyway, two pounds this. Oh, no, I love, if you find some really nice jade, I think it's beautiful. It's very calming, isn't it, as a stone? I don't know if that's its property, but it's just... Anyway, next one. This is the same pattern, sizes 14 to 20. They've got what? Oh, silk weaving. Oh, the thing is you're going to have such a brilliant time. What, to look to watch it? Oh, there must be other places you can go to. Two pounds. Oh, are they, they, is that in Myanmar? Oh, on the little boats, the market on the boats. I didn't realise that was there. And they have those birds that fish and bring the fish out. <gasps> River dolphins that help the fishermen. No, because it's weird, isn't it? There's pla well, some place in the world, now I'm, I'm rubbish at geography and things, where they have birds that dive down, lift them up, and they don't swallow the birds, they give them to the fishermen like that. They catch the birds, catch it. I think it's more like Vietnam, that, though, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Cormorant Are they cormorants? Cormorant fishing. In where? Hole? Oh, in China. Oh, so it would be near, because Myanmar's near China, isn't it? Isn't it? On the left-hand side, yeah. Two pounds. Who do? Oh, you can it's like being in Digbeth then. There's a, pl there's a place that all the people have tattoos all over their faces. That's a bit like around here. Quick sew. 
Oh, now Paul made this, not little Paul. When we had Paul on the show, he made this a shirt. Sh 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 shirt. You didn't make it, no, Paul. Two pounds. Small to double XL, 8 99 Yeah, Hannah wants to punch the man on the packet. He looks like somebody we know. I might, you might not know him. We as in the royal we, you know. No, I don't know him. No one here knows him. He must be Kirsten's boyfriend, I reckon. Carol, good morning, lovely John. Have you worked out whether I'm a fellow Cestrian? Oh, it means she comes from Chester. Um, she sent me all these clues about in Chester and everything. Well, if you're from Chester, you must be a Cestrian, mustn't you, Carol? But she's up in the Scottish borders now, but she seems to know me. Did we go to school together? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, did we go to school together, Carol? That's what I need to know. Oh, still on that one. Oh, I've thrown it over there now. I don't need one of those, Paul. What's next? Is it in a packet? This one, Slice Charm Runner, Sally Ann Harrison, Demo Dis, two pounds. Two pounds. Now it's funny because a few people have messaged me out. Over Christmas, Vix watched my regression on, um, that you was on this morning, well, obviously you watched it on YouTube, and a few people have messaged me going, just watch your regression. No. <laughs> yeah, next week, Paul. Two pounds. Now, when this first arrived, it wasn't 12 and 9 it was more expensive than that. Yeah. Oh. It's a loud noise, Thomas. What was in it? Milkshake? Oh, it's just water. It sounds very heavy. Picture of a lady. Oh, look. Dear all, this was taken at Festival Quilts in the summer. It made my weekend to have a photo with you. I'm the one in pink. Oh, look at you. You will all be greatly missed, but we look forward to your next ventures. Good luck to you all. Fondest love, Leslie from Bishop Stortford. Have you, have you signed up, Leslie? Oh, we had such a brilliant time, didn't we, at Festival Quilts this year? Did you not come at all? Like, yeah, you came one day, didn't you? Oh. Yeah, Hannah, <laughs> Hannah came one day and somebody went, mentioned, didn't know. Didn't know you were pregnant. When's it due? And Hannah was like, I'm not. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm just picking. Cotton Street with the plants. Yeah, Rose, me in time there. It was Er uh, from Good Life and Er uh, from Connie, wasn't it? Felicity Kendall and... What was the mum called in Darling Buds and May? Pam Ferris. They were played Rosemary in Time. I like this one, it's gorgeous. No, you're singing a different song. That's not Rosemary in Time. And in Cheshire, she hasn't got any walking boots. She hasn't got any walking boots because she was frightened they'd rub. We buy ones that don't rub. So she's bought, she's taken with her, her trainers from the gym. What are you thinking, Hannah? What happened with this, when the spikes, when you walk over spikes and things? Anywhere if you're walking out, oh. I bought walking boots for when I went to um, Jordan and Petra and they were my lifesaver. I wore them every single day. Two pounds. You'll be fine. 
the thing is, you're, you're staying with friends there, aren't you? So they'll tell you if you're going to need your boots or anyway. No, no, but what, what I mean is, not you stay with them all the time, but if you're going somewhere, they'll go, oh, you really need boots to go there. The hiking shop I got mine from in Stratford shut down as well. You don't need, don't buy them, don't buy them. You'll be able to get some there. Here or there? All right, Wendy, I'm just waiting for it to come out now. Now I've still got carols. Let's move on to the next thing and I'll find Wendy's. Um, have I got many of these left? Oh, I might have one of those. I'll just put it there. Oh, no, I'll put it there. Oh, I haven't got a shelf anymore. I'll put it there. I, I haven't got that message. Sorry, Victoria what? No, 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 no. Victoria Finley Wolf what? Yeah, Vines and Valleys. Two pounds. Uh, Carol's from the Scottish Borders will not leave. Wendy's has Carol's not leaving, so when it's live in the spirit world, isn't it? Yeah, Carol, you move on now. I've got Wendy coming through. Uh, what does what's Wendy saying? All the best, John, and all the team at Sound Quarter. What am I going to do with five hours every day? I've learnt so much. Wish I miss you so much. Much love from Wendy. From Merseyside. Ah. Well, no, now you see the, the, kissy, the question marks can't turn into kisses because Carol's has three question marks and then two kisses. Well done for all being so positive and entertaining, having been on sale since mid-November. Is that all it is? Uh, you'll deserve a huge thank you. Ruth, the thing is, right, Ruth, we could have gone mm, like that normally. But what's the point? You're not going to tune in, are you, if we're all being boring and everything? Yes, we're all sad. Every, everyone, everyone is truly true. Well, not everyone. Most people are truly, truly sad that we're going. I'm talking about staff now. But, but what's the point of coming on going... Mm, mm, mm. Might as well still have a laugh, might we? Vanessa. Ooh, Vanessa. I hadn't thought of... Good luck to you all in swing water. Swing water. What's that going to be? We'll miss you lots. Just signed up with you, John, from Vanessa by the airport. Oh, Vanessa, I must pass your house every day, nearly, because I now go home via Sheldon and through that way. And Hannah says if she gets stuck tomorrow morning, she'll shout your name by the airport tomorrow. Oh, she won't be looking like that tomorrow, though. Annette, thank you for our hats. Annette hates having, Annette ha ha hates having her name said on air. Annette, thank you for our hats. That's why I've got loads. I know, she's just on Karen, who she's meant to be going. Why don't you get Karen just to pop round to yours rather than going out? Then you can see the car, she can show off, and then you can pack and you, she can go. No, don't, you don't want anyone helping you pack, she'll shout at her. And then you'll end up going on your holidays having shouts at your best friend, and then you'll cry. Right, next. Yeah. The bag. One, two, three, four, five, six. The escape artist bag, no, that's, there it is. What did you make a joke about? What did you say? Okay, George, who's George? <laughs> George, no, Paul enrolled on escape, on, on escapology course and he's having trouble getting out of it. Boom, boom. They don't get any better, do they? Two pounds. Do you do this with all the nurses in the hospital to keep them entertained when you're on your oxygen mask? He hasn't met a sexy nurse while he's in the hospital. Oh, I thought that was, I thought it was going to be a punchline then. You know, he always used to say, he goes, oh, I've got a degree in dancing, or something like that. This one, he was like, I used to work in hospital, waiting for a punchline. I used to blooming love it, he says. Maybe, because that's, you could go back. Yeah, you, could be, you could be on that programme, um, 24 hours in A&E. Become a character. You could become a celebrity from 24 hours in A&E. 
All the ladies will fall in love with you on that. I think they're brilliant. You see, I just... I, no, not as a patient. I don't mean as a patient. And you're not going to have a lunch. <laughs> Blunt ball. Two pounds. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. I know it. Ruthie Clutch. Two pounds. Here's the pregnant lady. I'm not a doctor. This lady's knee is not pregnant. But when I first looked at that, it looked like a little black dress with a pregnant lady in it. Ruthie Clutch is enormous. Oh, carbon dioxide, yeah. Two pounds for an Anna Maria Horner pattern. No, what's next? So over it. I'm quite peckish. Nobody's brought anything in today, have they, Tom? Wasn't it Tom's print? Wasn't it you supposed to bring in the nibbles in today? There was no memo. You should just know. Oh, it's my last day. I'll bring me I'll bring nibbles. All we've got is macrobiotic pasta, which he's eaten most of it for his breakfast. Pussy bow, blaz. Oh, OK. All the screens have gone off upstairs. I'll just wait because nothing's come through yet. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Two pounds. Look, Nick. I've got it. Claudia. It's just taking a while to come through, haven't they? And everyone. Oh, book therapy from Tuesday to see me through the difficult times. Good luck to all. Missing you already. Oh, Claudia. How do you think we're going to cope? Yes, you have, Paul. <laughs> that shut him up, didn't it? You're clicking on a lot about... Oh, Sarah, very sad it's all come to an end. It's like losing a friend. We'll miss everyone. Well, I could read out the list tomorrow of the people I'm going to miss, if you like. Not viewers-wise, I mean, building-wise. <laughs> oh, it's here. I've got it. I'll pick it up in a minute. I've dropped it on the floor. Right, next. Here's my list of people I'm going to miss. <laughs> Tell you in the buttons, I'll miss them. Yeah. Who? Who? Two pounds. Was well, twelve pound fifty, now two pounds. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's she saying? Two pounds. Says, speaks volumes though, doesn't it? I won't be allowed to hug Paul when I go, when he goes. You're not, oh yeah, Hannah can hug people. When you come back from Myanmar, maybe. And when we come to visit you in the tropical disease clinic. <laughs> Behind the piece of glass. Hello, Hannah. How was Myanmar? Right, what's next? Oh, I have got Gail Pan. Blimey, have we got Gail Pan. Which one? Decorate for Christmas. Obviously, oh, no, it will be next Christmas now, won't it? Next Christmas, I've made you a Gail Pan. <laughs> then we've got these somewhere, because Sally Stevens made them. They're in the office somewhere. Two pounds now. Gail Pan from Australia. Did you watch... Um, oh, no, it won't have been on last night. There was a Christmas first date. Did you watch the Christmas first date? And there was a really common lady from, 
from um, um, Geordie Land. She was lovely and she met a really nice bloke and they're going to make a really lovely couple. But she kept doing this Australian accent and he was like, that's not Australian. She only knew one word, or one, one sentence, sorry. And she kept saying it over and over again. I thought the, the, the muscle boy who was an influencer was a bit dull. And the girls from Leamington Spa, wasn't she just down the road from where I live? Yeah. They were nice. And there was the middle one. It was oh, so obvious they weren't going to get on because she was way too old for him. They, the, the match in the middle couple were, was, was completely wrong. We well, have to send you singing first. No, because all they'll say is get him to apply and we'll look out for his name. Two pounds? can write your own profile. Vix needs to write your profile for... No, 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 no. But is it called mybestfriend.com? My friend Jane met her husband, Martin, from there. And it's where a friend puts, like Vix, so Vix would write your profile, put it all up and everything, and your picture and things, and then you haven't got to then write, my name's Paul and I'm gorgeous and I've got the body of a god and things like that. So if someone else writes it, you can, it's fine. No, 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 she'll write the truth. <laughs> But it means you, so she'll write nice things about you, but she hasn't written, because it looks a bit awful. If I, if, you, if I was to do it going, oh, I'm John and I'm really funny and I'm witty and I've got, I'm clever. It sounds boast, and it sounds, it sounds boastful. Whereas if a friend writes it going, I've got this really fabulous friend, these are his good qualities, these are his bad qualities, then it's, and then it's come from someone else. But you have to put your back, your, everyone's got weaknesses, Paul. Am I doing this one next? The spirit of Christmas. Paul's having trouble breathing at the moment. That's a, a bit of a weakness for a date, isn't it? I'll just come and wheeze over you in the pub. The spirit of Christmas. Well, she didn't know, did she? Oh, Paul's voice. When he said he hasn't got a girlfriend, his voice kind of all broke. Not broke as in 14-year-old breaking. As in, you know. 37, eh, Paul? You're a strong, independent man. You don't need a woman in your life. There he is. So if you want your future husband to look like either of those men, message in. But on Christmas Day, he wasn't very well at all. And he says he has got more baubles that he chose not to put them on the tree. But the Harlequin one's there. Can you see? Yeah. Poppy sewing set. Two pounds. You've only got two hours, Paul, and then you're f free. 10, 11, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, two hours, and then you're free as a bird. Do what? Oh, yeah, let's Ailey make you stay till two, because Ailey's in. <laughs> oh, yeah, she'll make you tidy up. <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth, it's been so long since my orders, I've forgotten what I've ordered. Oh, Elizabeth, I won't check, so it'll be all a lovely surprise when they arrive. Happy days. No, they will arrive. And it's funny because lots of ladies on the Facebook fan page started saying yesterday, oh, mine from this day to arrive, mine from that day to arrive. So they are catching up, I do promise. And if you have double ordered, then just put it as a present. Carol in Northumberland. Hi, John and team. I'll miss you and my son called to fix. All the best for 2020. P.S. I've signed up. Thank you. Love, Carolyn Blythe, Northumberland. I filmed... Uh, here you go. This is what she signed up for. Oh, no, not Paul. She hasn't signed up for Paul. Here you go. Um, I um, did a... Uh, I nearly said Betty... I nearly said I did a Betty Grable there. No, I didn't. I did a Catherine Cookson up in Northumberland years ago with Samantha Bond. Was it called the Black Candle? The one I did was called the Black Candle, I think. I had a lovely time. It was cold. Right, next. No, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things left. Yeah. Oh, I've got two backpacks. I've got the Dainty Day Tripper and Got Your Back. You do need a frame for this one. You haven't got the book. That's a shame. U I M Z thirty four. That one. Okay. You've done what, Paul?
Sandra, bye, John. We'll really miss you every morning. Still can't believe you're going. We, we sort of can't believe it either. I'm Vanessa from Sheldon's sister. Oh! Well, Sandra, are you near Shel the gym in Sheldon? You know, I go to the gym on the top of Marks and Spencer's food hall now, and there's a shop I've always wanted to go in. Is it called B&M? I want to go in there. I should have gone in for Christmas. I had the most fantastic Christmas decoration. Not that I put any Christmas decoration up this year. And there's one of those right next door to the door to go into the gym. And I keep thinking, I must go and have a look around there. And then Wayne, Wayne who lives around there, went, what, you go to that gym with all those gangsters? What, you walk around the streets in Sheldon on your own? I was like, yeah, it's lovely there. And he was like, mm. Wayne lives in Sheldon. Wayne lives in Sheldon. What, what? OK, so this one's got your back. Two. Two pounds. Oh, I've suddenly gone really hungry. I can't have my boiled egg yet. It's way too early. What? Me, no. I'm taking you and all your stuff home, aren't I, at the show? In the car. No, but explain why. You can't remember why. Two pounds. Message on here. John. Looks like I'll have to spend talk more time with... Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to spend more time with Marcia at the weekend now. Mornings from will be so in quarter three. I bet within a few weeks, I'll be wishing the bane of my life was back on TV. Of course you will. You'll miss me so much, Ewan. Marcia is so sad. I know she hasn't, she hasn't been in touch and I was worried about her. Being serious for a minute, thanks for keeping her company. She'll miss you all. Lots of love, Ewan. Right, let me just explain, right? So Marcia has been, I know it's lovely, he's a lovely man, he's a really, really lovely man. But um, Marcia was one of our very first ladies who used to message in. I'm from Brazil, but I live in Southport now. And um, anyway, she used to message in all the time, and then she sent me some gorgeous presents and everything. Then I met her, she's so shy, and yet she, she's so gorgeous, but she's really, really shy. I met her, I think, at the first Festival of Quilts, and then this year she came with you and her husband, and he went, the first thing he went was, you're the bane of my life, you are. And I was like, oh, thank you. Anyway, he's a lovely man and he's got his own Instagram page now. I'm not going to give you his thing out now. But, and they've got a lovely boy as well. They've got a really, really lovely boy. And um, he's very handsome as well as you. And anyway, we shall move on. We've got nothing else. Anyway, Ewan, thank you so much for messaging me. Um, but the thing is, the thing is, Ewan, I can, I, I mean, I, I, she signed up. She signed up to my new venture. Also, I'll be down your way lots because I've got family on the wheel, haven't I? Uh, we're going to go for a break because Lucy's put all this stuff out that she shouldn't have put on the desk. I know. <laughs> I, what, how come I didn't see that trolley? Was it not ready this morning? I've got singular threads of limited stock. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. We're obsessed with designer fabric at Sewing Quarter. From the quirky prints of Tula Pink and K Facet to the more traditional William Morris and Liberty. With our great discounts and capped delivery of just £2.95, who could resist topping up the stash? Check out all the gorgeous fabric we have on offer on our website www.sewingquarter.com and see our top 10 picks on our Pinterest page. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. 
To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. From gorgeous florals to nursery rhyme themed prints and paisley, our Lessien fabrics are great for all your vintage style makes. And what's more, they're at a discounted price. Visit our website at www.sewingquarter.com to view the full range and discounts. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. Have you heard about the Sewing Quarter Fans Facebook group? It is a great place to chat to fellow SQ viewers, presenters and guest designers share sewing and quilting tips and see what other fans have made. You will even receive exclusive offers and find out about new products and projects before anyone else. Simply search for Sewing Quarter Fans on Facebook to join the group and be part of the SQ community. Follow us on Facebook to see some of our favourite makes that we have coming up, which fabulous guests will be joining us and some of our fantastic offers and discounts. We also hold one-off Facebook Lives with special guests and demonstrations exclusive to Facebook. Just search for Sewing Quarter on Facebook to find us. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. Did you know that you can stay up to date with all of Sewing Quarter's demonstrations with our email newsletter? Our newsletter brings you regular updates on what is coming up on the show, as well as exclusive offers, discounts and events we will be at. Be the first to know what's coming up by signing up for our newsletter. You can do all this by heading to our website and clicking on the Newsletter button. All we need is your email. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics, from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687, or, and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. There's nobody in yet to ask any questions about the questions I was going to ask, so um, we'll just carry on, shall we? Um, what was I going to do in that break? I've had some crisps. Oh, you've done that with your moustache in this break, haven't you? Tom's shaped his moustache. It's like a handlebar moustache. Lucy's done the same with hers. <laughs> Diane? What, what? <laughs> oh, I was going to find a lemsit. That's what I was going to do. Can you rummage in my satchel, Luth? What are you doing? What's the matter, Luth? Why are you crying? 
Oh, because she's only got two hours left in her job. Oh, no. She's here for months tidying up afterwards, aren't you? See, it's sad. Um, and can you rummage in my, my satchel? Now, you might find a few things you don't like. And now, only because I'll tell you in a minute. There's no mousetrap in there. See if there's, you only have to open it like that and see if the box of lem sips are in there. Nothing gruesome. If you've got what, if you've got time, thank you. Right, here we go. Morning, John, and all at Saint Quarter. I will miss you all. I love that John remembers that I said the friction pen marks come back if you're in a caravan in Scotland in the winter. Little Paul is lovely. I wish I was a few years younger. All the best in your future endeavours from Diane. Diane, how old are you? Because he's 37. There he is. He looks very, a lot's happened between summer and Christmas, hasn't it? Well, no, no, because you look buff in summer and you look a bit sad in Christmas. And he was very ill, but he still managed to go to the pub and drink and eat. I'm not going to miss my Christmas dinner for no one. I might be dying, but I'm not going to lose my Christmas dinner for anyone. You're not dying, Paul. You're fine. I'm not a doctor and I know you're fine. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> 55! Paul's waist size. Yeah, mermaid, they're calling this one mermaid. <laughs> What's one pound eighty? It's now seventy two pence. Limited. Oh, it was one point eight. Limited stock, though. Okay, more people in baskets than we've got. Check it out. Come. All of you, well done. Message here. There's that funny sign again. Morning, everyone. Funny sign, funny sign. So sorry to see you go, but there's always a YouTube for a daily fix. And thank you, I'll tell you somewhere else to go. Thank you so much for writing up my days and nights when I couldn't sleep. Wish you all the best. I've signed up, John. Can't wait to see what's on the horizon. Neither can I. Lots of love. Annette, not Annette Curtain. Knee button from my iPad. Oh, Annette, thank you so much. No, she hasn't written send for iPad. That comes up automatically. Hannah's just photocopied, not photocopied it. Copied and pasted it. Right, are we ready for the next one? Limited, 46. Limited, limited. Now, on the telly, it looks blood red. In real life, it's more of an orangey, dark orange, this one. Gone. Oh. Right, yeah. I don't know where that one went. 406. Now, the A406 is an all circular, it's not the south circular. Right, here we go. Got more of these, not the huge amounts, got more of these. Brown. Dark brown, chocolate brown. The back of a horse's leg, unless the horse, of course, is grey. 72 pence. It's so worth coming in for all of these. It is. No, not coming into work. I mean, so worth coming in for all of these because look at the price. So I'm looking for the thread that I dropped on the floor to help Lucy. Let me just go and get it because Lucy will get upset otherwise. Two left. Oh, blimey, they've flown out. Two left. It's all right, it's all right. I oh, there it is. Messaging words from June. Where did Lucy go? Uh, morning, everyone. I never thought I'd become so attached to a TV sh Chanel. <laughs> but, oh, my goodness, thank God, you've been my lifeline over a very difficult few years. I miss you more than words can say, but wish each and every one you a happy new year. Onwards and upwards, love, June. Oh, June, that's a gorgeous message. Diane says I'm a lot closer to, <laughs> to your age than Paul's. Well, I'm only two years older than Paul, aren't I? Oh, Diane, you don't want to be going out with Paul anyway. He's got no money. Uh, 
That's what he's been saying all morning, isn't it? Oh, he's on his phone. He's on his phone. Oh, he's looking up his back, but I thought you said his CV. 736, right. Okay, little Paul needs a new job, everybody. Uh, wet pump? What? No, you've got your own photo photograph business. Take your photographs. Photography business. Paul's got nothing. Nothing. He doesn't want to go back to recruitment and he doesn't want to go to London. And he liked working in the hospital, but he didn't get enough money working in the hospital. It was a good laugh. Yeah, but you were about 16, weren't you? OK, anyway, 72 pence, this one. My, um, thank you. My lem sip's just coming in now. Wait, is it a lemon? Oh, it's a black currant, thank you. Did you find them all right? Or was there anything? Did you come across anything horrible on the way? Did you see the VI poo? <laughs> <laughs> Only because, right, we have, to, we have gender free toilets here. No, gender fluid, sorry, not gender free. And so it's good to have you, that VIP. Have you tried it, right? You spray the top of the water before you go to the loo, and it smells of strawberries when you leave. Well, don't no, you have to have it in your bag all the time, you say. But, but normally your body tells you, Hannah, what it wants to do. You don't, you don't go to. <laughs> you don't walk into a bathroom and go, shall I go to the toilet? OK, H Hannah's tummy obviously works in a completely different way to everybody else's. Anyway, buy this one, it's 72p. Has it gone? It's gone, that one. Right? There's a lot of. Rep <laughs> one nine one. I've got it. I've got it. Caught it. Caught it. One nine one. No, my lemon sips up here, but I've hidden it with my iPad because I'm being professional to the end, me. One nine one. Oh, sold out. Right now, I've got eight two seven. No, they haven't named any of the colours, have they? 827. So, why are these all sold out? I'm going to run out before the end of the hour. I know. <laughs> How can they have all sold out without... I'm ever to... Somebody's gone onto the website and bought all of them. Well, this is going to be a very slow hour. What time? It's only eight minutes past. And this is... This is all I've got left. OK. Are you coming now? Come on, then. Paul's coming down for a chat. Yeah, now, ha now, you have to set the microphone so we can hear you talking as well. It's just going to brush his hair. No, because I'll still be taller than him sitting down, wouldn't I? I'll just have some of sit while we wait for Paul. Isn't Hayley in yet? Come in here, come in this way and stand here. Got a message from Tina. Oh, here he is. Look at the panda. Oh, I'm so desperately sad you're going. Yeah. I can't understand oh, why something... So... Hang on, I'm talking. Uh, I can't understand how something so loved informed and needed is being given up miss you so much good luck and best wishes from tina thank you tina thank you, this tina. is little paul everybody Hello. i don't know if hannah wants to press any buttons yeah when know. jeremy did it we could hear it who the, the guest very well without a microphone so what button does she need to press for the mic i wouldn't touch the mic because i can just talk into your mic can't i yeah but it sounded really good the other day i did it yeah jeremy was really They're probably well. mic so paul what job do you want then I don't know, actually. I'm looking at everything. I've been thinking of doing something in sustainability. What's that? Uh, just for the environment, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Just because I thought something I'm passionate about, like you said. Um, Drinking? You're passionate about that? Gin, yes. Uh, for, oh, gin. I got some lovely gin uh, truffles from Ali from High Grove House. Not really a fan of truffles. Oh, I think well, I was going to share them out, but Are I won't. Can you do some shots, Lucy? Oh, Lucy's on camera now because Tom's disappeared. Oh, I think Tom's Okay, okay, okay environment. What about food? Because you're very food passionate I've about food. At, um, I've looked at Cadbury's again, but there's not many jobs going. So That's not proper food, though, so that's chocolate, isn't it? I thought I meant, you know, creating dishes and things like I that. I don't think I'd be good at that. 
Oh, don't you? No. You all seem to be good at it. So I've looked at health, the environment. I've looked at... Well, that's because uh, you spent so long at the doctors. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else have I looked at? Just random stuff, really. Oh. Um, so if anybody wants to give Paul a job, what about Gigolo? I, mm, I don't think I'd be in high demand, John. Why not? I, f I don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh, I think he'd be good, don't you? Anyway. Anyway, I'll stay here for a bit longer because we've got like three things to sell. Yeah, and Tom's busy directing That's now. That's Tom can direct. That'll be on his CV now, Tom, director. Um, anything really? Oh, anything, vision, you want a vision mixer. <laughs> yeah, I just want a job. Show the slide. Oh, no, we haven't got a slide for you. Yes, we have, we have, we have, we have. Here's how you can message Paul. Oh, you don't know how to do that, but we'll do it when Paul gets back upstairs. Um, oh, are you going to be sad? What, leaving here? Yeah, yeah I'm, gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. It's weird, isn't it? Because it, it's, it's, it's a job, isn't it? And yet yeah. it's more than a job here, isn't it? I think, yeah, see, now I'm getting emotional. Oh, but go, no. go, Paul. Um, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Um, I just think, yeah, I'm, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted, because it's just been sort of taken away, hasn't it? Without us knowing. Oh, yeah. look, have you been on the sunbed? Or is no, it you've got high uh, blood pressure? It's high blood pressure and high heart rate. <laughs> <laughs> Adverse reactions to steroids and antibiotics as well. <laughs> so, he's, if he's looking, looking for a wife... Yeah, I've got no you... lungs, but, uh, yeah. you know... And what, it's from asthma, is it? They don't know. So, it was... I had, well, I had gastroenteritis. Then oh! <laughs> and then my asthma was really bad, but this is... Do you think he's now. been brought on by what's happened here? I don't think it's stress related. No. 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 I do. I, I, I really don't. All right then. But I've not been to the gym what? for like two and a half months. You haven't been what? The gym, which is really annoying. Oh no. See the flabby now. Yeah, flabby swans. Oh well. Okay, Hannah's missing you. Go back upstairs. Oh, okay. Well, it's been emotional. Go. I was going to give you a hug then, but. No, come here oh, then. Go on, then. Oh no! Oh, I didn't do what I did last time. No, because uh, yeah, we but, but that <laughs> We had to snog last time, that's all. No, we didn't, no, we didn't, no, we didn't. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, get your message in for little Paul now. Oh, oh, they're all swapping places now. So, thank you for doing cameras, Lizzie. <laughs> we didn't move a camera a whole, the whole time. Have you had a lesson in cameras? Oh, it's not on your CV then, cameras. Tap dancing. So, have you looked for a job then? Or are you not bothered because you've got ages? Some people, just say no, I'm not giving anything away. Some people are staying on, not because the website has to carry on going and the warehouse will stop going, the shop will carry on going. We obviously have to clear out of this, this building, so people have to do that and everything. So, like, today, at one o'clock today, Hannah, Paul and Tom will all go. Lucy will go home, but she'll have to prep, she has to prep tomorrow's show, but she's back in again after New Year to sort of clear up and everything. Hayley will still be around, Neil will still be around, so you can message them. Um, Harriet will still be around. A man called Paul, who I've got no idea what he does, just sits in the corner looking abusive. No, not abusive, that's the wrong word. Abusive is the wrong word. Grumpy is the word I meant, grumpy. No idea what he did. Abuse, sorry, I didn't mean that word at all. He's not abusive in the slightest. He just... I don't know where the word came from. He doesn't, I didn't mean that at all. And then somebody else. Oh, Sarah. Sarah will still be here. Um, and then obviously people in the warehouse packing your um, orders and everything. They'll still be here. So there will be a team that carries on into the new year and everything. We just won't be broadcasting. That's all. Anyway, I'll stop with wafting on. Have a look at this picture here. Hi, John. The first pick is Festival Quilts 2017. Oh, no. And the second one, I've got this same shirt on. I've got the same shirt on. But hang on, hang on, hang on. The second one is 2018. In last year's pick, I look very fat. No, you don't. Oh, so I'm not sending that. Oh, so there's another one. There's 2019 as well. Thanks for all the memories. Um, also, how come we've got all your pictures? <laughs> so we can have a look at all the pictures you've taken on your phone. Because that's where Eamon and Ruth got caught out, wasn't it? Ruth sent, sent a still... Um, a thing to somebody, and I had all the pictures, showed on telly, I had all the pictures of Eamon in his pants, I think, going across the bottom. Anyway, thank you ever so much. Big kiss. Right, shall we do some selling? Sorry. Waffling on. I've still, it's still, I've still got 45 minutes this hour to go, so at my reckoning, it's, it's less. Oh, okay. Lisa Lamb's chic chain purse. Now, what did she say she was designing? On Facebook yesterday, she put in that she was designing something, didn't she? 
So this is the Chic Chain Purse Kit. Was £9.99, now £2. Oh, here we go. Let's have some Paul messages in a second. Oh. Now, you know I said about Alex earlier, my niece being stuck, right? And I thought, right, she's stuck with Raz. Raz's aeroplane's gone. He's, his aeroplane's fine. His aeroplane's fine. It's just Alex's one coming back here isn't fine. Oh. Emma's messaged him. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. No, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Little Paul is hot. He was a bit sweaty, wasn't he, Emma? Oh, that's a different Emma. Emma in Porter's head. Emma, do you want his, do you want his uh, Instagram? Here he is. At the underscore Duke 1111. You see, I think playing the, the um, tearful card, that was a good one, Paul. Shows your vulnerability. No. <laughs> Mo needs someone to paint a fence. Ten pounds an hour. There you are. Yeah, Paul, Paul, Mo, Mo will, Hannah will be there with Mo drinking cocktails while you're painting the fence. It's a bit cold up there to paint fences now, isn't it? Uh, Linda. Hi, John. My daughter Susan and I love Sewing Quarter so very much. We're going to miss you desperately. Best wishes to the future, Linda. Oh, I thought it was going to be you were going to offer your daughter up for Paul then. Oh, Dawn. Hello, hunky Paul. I was sitting down, by the way. He was standing up. Uh, now we've seen you in the flesh. You'll soon be snapped up. Gorgeous, Dawn in Greater London. I thought I was your biggest fan. No, you were my biggest fan, Dawn. Nanny Jill, morning, Paul. I can't employ you, but I will adopt you. Oh. And then Teddy says, chocolate is food. It's a vegetable, John. It comes from a bean. That's Teddy. How was your Christmas day, Teddy? It's so in, your Christmas day, so in. I saw a picture of your workroom. Blimey, it's a mess. Isn't it? Did you tidy up? Oh, bless you, Paul. Hope you feel better soon. That's from lovely Elizabeth in Worcestershire. Maybe you should have been a presenter, Paul. Paul, you're gorgeous. You start tomorrow. Right, is that Julie in Greater London, right? Julie, who messaged in earlier, saying, I'm too sad to message in again. I won't be able to message in. Oh, God, Paul. Uh, Lynn, uh, this wee conversation has made me so emotional. We'll miss you all so much. Lots of love from Lynn and the four Mad Westies. Now, she's just, she sent me an email yesterday, not from her work email. That one she's at work again today. Hi, boys. It's so sad to see you go. It's like losing a member of the family, Lisa in Leicestershire. Oh, thank you, my love. And message from Sarah. Oh, they're coming in thick and fast, aren't they? What a lovely chat Paul is. Good luck to you all. I'm reaching for the tissues. <laughs> what an amazing lot of people you are. Big kisses, Seaford, Sarah. Oh, wait till tomorrow. Um, Sarah, oh, no, I've done that one. Heidi. Oh, my God, Paul's going to make me cry. He would suit a job at the BBC Natural History Department at Bristol. Well, as a, as a dinosaur? Yeah. Uh, Geraldine, hi, Paul, you are so lovely. Good luck and let us know what you get up to in the future. You don't want to know that. I'll miss your jokes. Love and hugs from Geraldine. Well, somebody's going to miss your jokes, Paul. Ah. I'm quite glad, actually, that we're having our last show today. No, no, let me just say, we're having our last show today. Because if we'd all been on, the last, me, Paul and Hannah and everybody and Lucy and, and Tom and everything, if we'd been on the last show tomorrow, it would have been too upsetting, wouldn't it? Because we were the original, you know, we were the original team, weren't we, sort of thing. So, you know, it's quite good that we're getting our last shift out the way. And then I can be emotional tomorrow. Right, what were you saying to me, Hannah? Oh, Luce, Lucy's had a message from her boyfriend, Luke. Could I give him a shout out on the telly? Right, okay, uh, Luke, I'd just like to ask a few questions, right? Why are Lucy and Hannah in love with each other? Two, why wouldn't you let Hannah move in? Because Lucy said it was because you said she couldn't move in. Uh, three, no diamond at Christmas. Lucy doesn't want one, but I was just saying you should have done. And uh, how come you love football so much? Football's your number one love, isn't it? We've heard all these stories in the morning. Uh, but anyway, I, I have to say, I'm, no, I'm joking, I think. Lucy adores him, so that's the main thing, isn't it? Um, and if you know, you know Rebecca Shard Harrison, they look very similar. They look very similar. 
Oh, that, oh let's not go too far, Lucy says. Oh, anyway, there you go, you got your shout out. Send in a picture of the house, of like, Hannah lying on your sofa. Did you make a picture of Hannah lying on the sofa? Anyway, thank you ever so much for all your messages. Right, okay, let's move on to Cape Fur, no, Cape with Fur Collar. There's no picture of this. Yeah, it's not of the finished cape, though, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, good scene from Lanark, she says, Ashikula doesn't like to be touched. Good luck with that, Paul. It's just me he doesn't like being touched by. You gave me a hug, but I could feel it. You know when you hold a rabbit, a baby rabbit, and they're going, what are you going to do? What's gonna do? That's what Paul was like. That it was like a baby. Oh, who's that from? Carol. Karen says, what's Paul like with dogs looking for a dog walker? Um, I don't know what you like with dogs, Paul. I can't imagine they attack him a lot. Oh, hang on, I've got one from Joanne coming up in a minute. No, I haven't. Got Gerardine still. Gerardine won't leave this time. Just because it's... Hi, all. Going to miss you all so much. You've inspired me, made me laugh and kept me smiling. I'm smiling, don't smiley face. Paul is very cute. Kiss, kiss. How old are you? Who was that one from, sorry? Joanne in Pembrokeshire. No, not mine, yours. She's, no, no, she signed up, she's already signed up, that's fine, but yours would be his. Court message him, it'll make his Christmas. If lots of ladies message him this Christmas and New Year, that'll make his day. Have we done this picnic rug yet? No, you're still on Cape with fur cut. Oh, it's Jenny McCreary's look. Was it Jenny McCreary? I'm onto this one though, picnic rug and basket. Picnic rug bag and basket. Hang on though, Pic should there be a Picnic rug bag. Oh, no, picnic rug bag and basket. Oh, no, I was on with this. Uh, I don't have Margaret's. Oh, hang on, you two. Paul, send your positive thoughts for a happy and secure future to you and the team. Won't be the same without you. So thankful. Now, you talk to me, who's John, or were you talking to little Paul that was just on then? He's not there anymore. Well, he is, but you just can't see him. Oh. Julie, Julie said, sorry, John, just want, want to lighten the load. Paul's what? Old. Paul is older than her daughter. No, we were thinking of you for you, Julie, not for your daughter. Anyway, have you seen this? I'm trying to read, there's a message come through from Ian. I'm trying to read it. Yeah. I have... Oh, Hannah's angry now because I've got my phone here. I brought it in by accident, I have to say. What rules? Yeah, what rules, Hannah? Oh, no, by this time tomorrow, John will be selling jars of sign quarter studio fresh air. A good skill to add to your CV. <laughs> I know, there's not much, is there left? You bought too much. Dinosaurs, what are you like? I was thinking more like Seven Worlds, One Planet, and Spring Watch. <gasps> she works in telly, Paul! Paul, she works in telly at Bristol. Heidi, Heidi. Right, she was thinking of television programmes like Worlds, One Planet, isn't that David Attenborough? Yeah. And Spring Watch. Well, uh, hey, Heidi, where should he apply? And Tom as well, and Tom wants to come as well. Or oh, Tom, you'll have to come on and be sexy. Oh, Paul, and they've not asked you? Not yet. Oh, Tom already works for that company that makes those programmes, you see, and he's not been asked. So, Heidi, do you know Heidi? I don't work in Bristol, do I? Oh, you don't work in the Bristol office? But you could travel to Bristol. It's only about an hour from here, isn't it, Bristol? Heidi, Heidi how does he get in touch with you, or them? Let us know. Uh, uh, that, that's him for, for dates, Heidi, but that's, that's not his working. That's not, you can send him a message there on Instagram, but um, because it, we all lose our, e they lose their... Oh, and he's on LinkedIn as well. What's your link for there then? Paul Evans. What's the picture on LinkedIn? Because it won't be one of those, will it? 
Oh, so it's not a working one then. Anyway, uh, Heidi, how does he get in touch? That's what he wants to know. Right, Octagon Picnic Quilt by Rosemary Smith. Oh, in there, on there, here. Oh, yeah. Good morning, John, all the same quarter crew. I'm so very sad to be watching the last Sunday show. <gasps> Is it Sunday today? I've discovered sewing quarter during my cancer treatment. You helped me regain my interest in sewing and a desperately hard time. Your programmes, designer makes tips and demos inspired me. My fabric stash and to make pile has really grown. John, you've especially, this is going to make me upset now. John, you've especially helped me so much on treatment days and the recovery time afterwards and gave me, gave me laugh out loud so often with your wonderful tales. I'll miss you terribly, but I've signed up. Love and best wishes to everyone for whatever the future holds. Love, Emma from round the corner. She's in Warwickshire. I don't know where in Warwickshire she lives. Send me, Emma, send me a message where you live. I won't put it out on air, obviously. I won't put that on air. Hannah can just tell me. Paul likes Warwick. Right, here we go. Octagon picnic quilt. Just the instructions, obviously. Now, I did this one with Rosemary, I think, didn't I? What's the matter, Paul? What's hurt? No, you can moan as much as you like with friends now. Right. Oh. I'll put my phone away because Hannah's angry with me now. Tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, who's North Star quilting? Well done for taking your phone in. There shouldn't be any rules in the last hours. Oh, it's not, I've got a whole day tomorrow to do yet. I won't have my phone with me later. I just brought it through by accident, actually. As, as if you've stuck to any of the rules over the last three years. Hannah's going, there are rules, John Scott. As if she's stuck to any of the rules. Like being on time, coming out the house on time. That's a rule. We have to be at work on time. I'll shut that. Oh, it's a long message, this one. Here we go. Right. Hi, John and all. Could you give a shout out to my grumpolo, my dad? He has been so good about me watching Sun Quarter, JM, and even Rocks before all the time. I've saved him over £200 repairing his favourite shirts and fleeces with no help from you. I shall be the grumpy one from Tuesday. I shall have to get back to learning to read music and play guitar or indulge my sewing obsession of stitching fabric flowers. I've perfected the scoochy rose thanks to Baffa <coughs> and folded ribbon roses was something I always wanted to know how to do. Now they're all over the place. No goodbyes today, just the best of health to little Paul in the new year and bon voyage to Hannah. P.S. He's called Barney. Are we talking about his... Oh yeah. You'll have to shout, it's a bit deaf. I'll do that in a minute. PPS, sequin chiffon scarf received with delight. Hang on, sequin chiffon scarf to receive with delight. Made the gift for friend who needs some sparkle as she's been made redundant from a job she loved too. Oh, thanks, we know, the, we know that one. Thanks for the tips. I'll try to sign up. What's Siggy in up? I've only recently got this tablet, mostly for watching Sun Quarter and JM After Hours. I haven't quite figured it all out yet. We'll be seeing you again in the morning. One more time. Lots of love from Mandy in Richmond. Uh, what's he called? Barney. Barney! Um, Richmond, Richmond, as in the Richmond I used to live in. Oh, it's lovely there, Mandy. I was, just, I was thinking about it this weekend because there was a shop that I used to go to all the time at Matches on the Richmond Hill, just at the beginning of Richmond Hill. I used to buy all my clothes from there. Anyway, moving on. Lisbon Tiles. Thank you for all your messages, by the way. Keep them coming in. Um, Joe Avery. She's got a shop, hasn't she, in Edinburgh. Oh, do you want to do something else? Oh, OK. So we can't do that one. Sorry about that one. I'll move on. Have I got that one as well, then? No, this one wasn't the panel. This is the one that Rebecca Reed did before we printed up the panel. So this is the one we did originally, and then we got Amy, the graphic designer, to print up the panel. Remember the Safari one and the... London, was it London, the other one? They were London and Safari one, weren't they? This is just... The, oh, these are only 6 99 but they're £2 now. Oh, 
Oh, I knew that, Emma. You've told me that, haven't you? Because that was where, I won't say, but that was where I nearly got taken away with the... Remember the... Um, no, not with the circus, all the fairies. Do you remember we had those really bad floods? We must have still been at Rocks & Co, I think. And I was driving down that road that you live off, right? And the riverbanks burst, and me and a bread van got whooshed along like this. No, 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 the bread van got completely stuck in the flood and everything. And I just put my foot down and the water came over the top of my bonnet. It was so deep. And I just kept my foot down like this going, please let me through, please let me through, please let me through. And I came through the other end and my car was absolutely full of water. It was the most terrifying. And then I carried, carried on dry, driving. And then I got to work because Rock's used to be around the corner here in Faisley Studios. And then I suddenly got all like, oh my goodness, imagine it. Because my whole car was being taken away. The, with the bread van was taken away with the water from the burst. It was so frightening. Uh, Abigail says, we'll miss you so much. The best programme on TV. I oh, know, I don't understand it either, Abigail. Start your own chat show, John. Uh, can't believe they can close such a wonderful, popular show. I oh, know, Abigail. I oh, know, it's, it's weird, isn't it? But you mustn't take it out on the magazines. A lot of people are going, oh, I'm not going to do the mag... It's nothing to do with the mag... Please, please, please. Don't... They're our friends, they are. They, well, the, first of all, they, they were the people who created us. It's not been their decision. It's way, 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 way above that. So please, 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 don't be thinking, oh, I'm going to stop my magazines in protest or anything. Don't do that, because as Hannah was saying, you're going to... Um, What's that thing called? Bite off your nose to spite your face. Don't do that because because the magazines are fantastic and it's not their it's not their fault that this happened. It's way 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 above. So please 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 don't think that. Right. Hi John and T. We'll miss you all terribly. What am I going to do with them in the mornings? I know because it's weird, isn't it? You sit down, don't you? Then five hours later, clearing up. Oh bloop. Good luck with the future from Margaret Nice Riding of Yorkshire. Thank you, Margaret, my love. Orange peel. This is a Sarah Ashford design, this one. I'm a little bit concerned. No, because Hannah doesn't want to come on air, does she say? I'm not going to make you do anything, Hannah. If you want to come down, come down. But if not, then please don't feel you have to. Uh, on your one there. Oh, yeah, that's yours, yeah. Hello, John. I have no idea why sing Paul is single. He is gorgeous. But not as gorgeous as you, John. We will miss you so much. Paul's putting faces upstairs, everyone. I've watched from my very first minute and loved everything and everyone. <clears throat> not sure how I'll get through all these items you have to say. I know. Best wishes for all the new adventure apps that you cannot wait. Love and lugs. Oh, it's Marina. Love and hugs and good luck to all from Marion, who is also called Marina, according to Hannah. Because Hannah tends to put letters in a different order and make up a name. Earlier, what were you saying earlier? It was completely, it wasn't even anything near. Wasn't anything, what was it? No. <laughs> wasn't that one, no. No. Orange peel. Oh, with the Ronda Valleys earlier. That was a funny one, yeah. Oh, no, in the, in the floods a couple of months ago, the river burst again and they got cut off. That will have been... I'll tell you why I didn't see your floods. It's because I have to go over Welford Bridge to get to my village. And that was completely, utterly flooded, wasn't it? So I went round, I had to go around the long way. It took me, it was 50 miles. I had to drive to work every morning. I had to go top road out of my village through Stratford that way. Uh, it's Luke, all right? Uh, uh, Luce, she gone? I'll get, I'll get to come in. Luce! Please, Hannah, let's see you in front of the camera. Most of us are sitting in our dressing gown, so you'll be in good company. No, she got dressed today, but very quickly. Oh, no, actually, I have to say, she was actually waiting on the street. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> She's standing on the corner of the street. But normally, I pull up outside the house and have to wait about 15 minutes. She was there today. Is your Luke all right? Oh, he says, thank you for his shout-out. Still, Still no diamond. And Hannah can come and stay whenever she wants. Well, he's moving out, just so you know, isn't he? Not, not anything serious. They're saving for a house. Oh, that's serious, that is, though, isn't it? Saving for a house. It's a big step now. Do you want me to talk you through it later? Yeah. How old is he? Uh, 28. 
28, how old are you? Oh, oh, she's older than him. And has he got jo good job prospects? Because you haven't. <laughs> well, she, no, she hasn't got a job, has she? Uh, has he got good job prospects for the future? Oh, that's all right then. Oh, okay, you're all right then. Uh, I can speak, oh, he can speak French because he works in France a lot, doesn't he? Because he's trying to find a boyfriend for Hannah. Mind you, it must be a bit odd him in France speaking in French going, I've got a friend called Hannah at home. <laughs> Would you like to meet her? Voulez-vous reconnaître mon ami, no, ma ami, Hannah, avec beaucoup de cheveux? Yeah. I, I do French in a Yorkshire accent for some reason. When I did interview the Rampats, you all the all the fittings in France in French, and it was all about period features and everything. Anyway, who did this one? It looks like a Jane Alcock. I don't know if it is though. No, it's not. It's um, a lady called Christine. Oh, I can't read that name. Can you read that name? Thank you, Paul. That was a lot of help. Oh, sorry, were you going to close it up? It is Christine. Now, I don't know how you do CZ together. Is that Ch? Chepurik. 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 I think she might be Polish, is she? I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Look, there you go. Oh, it's festive. Okay, let's have a look at the message. Right, hello John, so sad to see you all going. Oh no, for the last few years you've helped me through illnesses, operations and filled my day with inspiration and knowledge. I can't believe Sound Quarter will be no more and it would be strange not to hear any of you in the background. <laughs> Best wishes to all of you. Donna in Barnsley. Oh, do you know what? I had my first frothy coffee in Barnsley. P.S. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere, Donna. Not going anywhere. I still, I'll still be doing pavers, obviously, because I've done pavers. Uh, and I can tell you a bit more tomorrow. We, I'll I can tell you a bit more in the last hour tomorrow. But you can all sign up for my website at Donna, because you have, you have Wi-Fi in Barnsley, don't you? Look, it is. www.johnscottssewingworld, two Ts, two Ss. And also the Facebook page is exactly the same name. Not the www, obviously, just John Scott Sewing World. Thank you ever so much, but I'm not going to... I mean, I'm, I will be going somewhere because they'll kick me out tomorrow at one o'clock, but I'm not going, going anyway. This was an early bird special. Ignore that. This was the one he designed for our birthday show, wasn't it? Yep. It's got what? Today. Maybe we're carrying up. Are we doing an eight-hour day? So what? Oh, oh, uh, oh. Alison, thank you, man. Is it, is it Ali from Cheshire? Oh, we could do Insta. Oh, she's just giving you information. Some people are allergic to a certain group of antibiotics. It's what? Oh, the antibiotics haven't made the reaction. It's the steroids that have made the reaction, apparently. Are you met? Oh, obviously you, met. you can take them for that long, but it sounds a bit weird. Are they? Are, are you taking them as a pill or as an injection? <gasps> so he rattles when he walks now. Oh, so what? Get oh, oh, I didn't know you could take them for a long time. Nice. Bake oh, now, this one might be called something different. This is the bakery cushion. Oh, message ready. Here you go. Hi, John. I'll be working tomorrow, so say my goodbyes today. My husband says I might even get some housework done now. Cheeky. Doesn't he not know what a duster is? Thank you to everyone for all the hard work over the last few years. I'm going to miss you all. Patchwork and quilting, a new hobby for me, and I've learned so much watching the show. Good luck to everyone in their future endeavours. Susan from South Yorkshire. P.S. I've signed up. Thank you so much. Hashtag signed up. Bakery cushion from Helen Newton. Oh. I bought some. You know I buy the tiger bread, gluten-free tiger bread. They sell it in Tesco's and Waitrose. Well, I rushed in. Was it yesterday or the day before? No, did I come back yesterday? Whatever day I came back yesterday, or day before, 
No, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Um, I um, whizzed into Tesco's, did my shopping, thought, oh, they've got one tiger bread. And I've got home, it's not a tiger bread, but it's in a tiger bread bag. It was very nice, but I've got no idea what it is. Don't know, it's in the gluten-free section, but I don't know what it is. Perhaps if you try pursing your lips and wriggle your shoulders when you speak French, it may come out as less northern. Where was your teacher from? No, my teacher, Mr Griffiths, he was Welsh. Yeah, so put... Je m'appelle Jean. Oh, works! Yeah, it is. J'habite dans un bon lieu de... An aspirateur, c'est à faire le ménage, c'est à nettoyer les tapis, les moquettes. It works, Elizabeth. <coughs> I could go on a shopping telly in France now, I imagine. Do they have them? Yeah, they'll be like, that poor boy. What's wrong with... Oh, poor boy. That poor old man. <laughs> Come on. I've, I've not done this one already. Are you sure? That's the first one was very similar. I think she's just done two and called them different names. I think she has, yeah. There you go. They're different. These are pumpkins. Two pounds. You who handbag. No, that's not, doesn't sound right. You handbag. I wonder why she called it that. You handbag. Two pounds. Oh, it's got all the pattern pieces and everything in it, look. Oh, and for the little one and the big one. Right, message. Hi, John and team. It was good to see Paul. Let's hope he gets a job soon. And I'm glad he's feeling better. He's not feeling any better, I'm afraid, Leslie. Have a good holiday, Hannah, and hope you have a job to come home to. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll be following you in your holiday pics. I have the rest of the hours on record as I have to go out. But I shall be joining you tomorrow for the last ever day. Sorry you're all going. I've done lots more sewing since the channel has been on. And I have a lot of work in progresses to get on with. Love to you all. Best for 2020 and new endeavours. Love, Leslie in Shropshire. Where, when she comes back from her month's travel, she's then got a two-week intensive driving course in Rutland. So no jobs, please, until mid-February mid for Hannah. That would be ideal. Paul's looking for work immediately. Picture this table runner by Louisa Galt. Oh, there's, there's a picture inside. Elaine, hope you're all successful in the new year. We'll miss my weekend fix and banter. Sad to see you all go. I've signed up, though. Love and good luck to you all, Elaine. In Tyne and Weir, now. Is that near Darlington, Tyne and Weir? Or do I mean Hartlepool? I keep saying Hartlepool, but I don't know what... Oh. Picture this table runner. Where would the code be? That was the front page. Oh, here you go. At VTIE34. We've called it something completely different in the graphics. So it must be, um, oh, this is to make your half square triangles with. It would help if I got it all the right way up, wouldn't it? Sorry, Paul. One job. Well, no job. Why have we called it? Oh, it's because they're made up of half square triangles and they've called it a Hal Triangle. Honestly. I'm blaming Leah. Just because I want to. It, they're made of half square triangles, look. There, look, these are all half square triangles. No picture of the finished thing, though, is there? Oh, I suppose that's what it sort of looks like. Louise Gott, she's in Amsterdam at the moment, on holiday, with her lovely husband, Justin. Louisa Galt. You could go to Amsterdam if you wanted to, Paul. That's all right, Hannah. What with? Oh, okay. 
Kitchen tote bag. Helen Newton. Was nine ninety nine now two pounds. Be interesting to see what I'm going to sell tomorrow, because almost everything I'm showing you today is sold out. What are you doing? Um, here we go, message. Hello, John and fabulous crew. I am so good to miss watching you all. You have brightened my days and allowed me to indulge in my sewing hobby. You gave me confidence to try new techniques and projects I would never have tried and helped me to relax after very stressful days at work. I've learned so much from you all, but also giggle at the antics. John, car oh, John, carry on being you and never change. Bit late for that now. Good luck to all you. Louise in Leamington Spa. Louise, did you know the girl? The girl on... Um, on First dates, Christmas first dates. She was from Royal Leamington Spa, they called it, didn't they? But I didn't like the fact they did it in that pub. I wanted them to still be in the same, the same restaurant, didn't you? Have you not seen it? It's in a country pub. And they must have filmed it in summer. Oh, thank you. No, 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 it was the Christmas one. So, but I just sent the, set the video for over Christmas to watch it. Um, so, th but they were outside with no coats on and everything. So I'm thinking, and they weren't cold. And there was no, <sighs> so I think they must have filmed it so I'm thinking it was filmed like in early September when we had that heat wave and the Christmas tree was all made up and everything like that. Uh, have I done this one? Thank you. In a pickle? Oh, now. Aren't we all, Joe Avery? So this one's slightly different to pickle because we did one called pickle pie as well. So I'm presuming that shape must be... Oh, no, pickle dish, I'm thinking. Don't I? Oh, hang on, you've got modern wedding ring. That's not this. You see, no wonder sometimes I think. So this one is modern wedding ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not. They're pickle dish, aren't they? And um, it's called... In, why we didn't call it what was called on the pattern, for goodness sake? I blame Leah. Don't even know if it was Leah's job. Whose job would it have been? Who used to write these? Oh, uh, whoever booked it in. Harriet. Booking, I'm blaming Harriet. Two pounds. I saw the end of a Bond film over Christmas. Oh, this one's got a pic. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Hi, John and team. My favourite second quarter moment was the first show I watched. It was an epiphany. You were on form, John. What do you mean I'm on form every day? And from that moment, I've been hooked. I've made my first ever quilt because of sewing quarter. The Amelia quilt you were just showing. Not finished it yet, but and didn't I say it looked gorgeous as well? But will be soon. Spent loads of money, but have some fabulous projects ready to sew. Probably sent me about 10 years. We'll miss you all so much. Lots of love and many best wishes for your future. And from a very windy Anglesey. That'll be the sprouts, Anne. Um, oh, that is gorgeous. Yes, yeah, stay on that. I've got that bed. That, that exactly the same bed. Thank you, Anne, from a very windy Anglesey. Now, Anne, who... I was talking to somebody about Anglesey. Somebody, somebody I know is buying a little holiday home there, up in the top. Is it called Bethesda? Or, no, that's not, it's not an Anglesey, is it, Bethesda? Anyway, they, they love it up there. Another one from Lynn. Uh, I will miss you all. You started my days with a smile, and I often laugh out loud. I suppose the only side will be that we won't be late for work, where I keep saying, I'll just watch another five minutes. I've signed up as well for the French-speaking Grand Bisou. Oh, Lynn in Hastings. Mm -hmm. um, I used to, when I lived in New York, right, uh, I used to walk to work. So I lived in Greenwich Village. I used to walk through to, to um, Broadway from, from um, the village. Oh, happy times. 
Anyway, I Love Lucy used to be on in the morning and I was supposed to be at work at half past nine and there were two episodes of I Love Lucy, half past eight till nine and nine till 9.30. And I'd always start the nine o'clock one and go, I'll just watch till the advert break and then I'll start walking to work. So I always used to watch the whole thing and then wouldn't set off till half past nine. And because I was walking through the village every day, there was something different to look at. So like, I'd be like, oh, I didn't know there was that psychic there. Oh, I didn't know there was that shop there. And I was late for work every single day. What? Oh, one more picture. We've seen that one. That was, I can I tell you, that was at Marks and Spencer's trifle. Sticky toffee. No, I don't like trifle. It was sticky. There was no fruit in it. It was sticky toffee. Sticky toffee something fudge cake. Sticky toffee fudge cake trifle from Marks and Spencer's. It was delicious. It's very blurred, that picture. Not yet. Right. The Libby dress. What time are we at? Oh, we're all right. Oh, perfect. I've got four things. Oh, uh, two pounds, the Libby dress. Paul says he's going to go home at 12, so there might not be a show after the break. Oh, you can't, obviously. Is that what you'll really do when you go home now? Two pounds? Vix was in bed when I messaged her yesterday afternoon. Kitchen makes, Rebecca Reed. This will be your tea towels, your pot holders, and your um, oven gloves. I want a tea cosy. There's no tea cosy on that picture, is there? Well, there's no teapot. Well, you wouldn't have it on there anyway. You wouldn't have your teapot on your range anyway, would you? I wonder if that's Rebecca Reed's house. I doubt it. What's well, 9 99 Two pounds. She's got a gorgeous little house, Rebecca Reed. It's just stunning with a little picket fence outside. Looks like it should be on the seaside in America, but it's not. It's in Bristol or something like that. Two pounds. Right, next one. Photo. Oh, my word. Oh, is that the one we had earlier? Uh, just noticed the stag's head on the studio wall. Uh, I have attached a photo of the table runner I made using the same fabric panel which my mum Dorothy gave me earlier in the year. I made a long runner, embroidered all the family names on each square using the letter feature on my Janome Memory Craft 6600. Sorry to hear the channel is ending. Mum and I enjoyed watching and learnt lots. Good luck to all of you in the future. Kind regards, Jackie Timms in Ballymoney, County Antrim. Oh, look at your kitchen table. No, the dining room table, your Christmas table. That's a big bottle of wine. Look at the size of that wine bottle. And is that a Father Christmas salt and pepper? Oh. Oh, it's a snowman or something. What's next to it? Oh, and then there's a big salt and pepper next to it, is there? What's next to it? What's behind it? Oh, it's cranberry sauce, is it? You see, I can't see the pictures very clearly down here. Oh, how many people were there? How many glasses on that table? Have they, have they got one each or two each? One, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it eight or nine people around for Christmas dinner? Thank you, Jackie, my love. It's eight, is it? After what? Oh, now, break now. I'll, I'll do those in the next hour. I hope you are successful in the new year. We will miss the weekend fix and banter. Sad to see you go. I've signed up. Love and good luck to you all from Elaine in Tiny Way. Big kiss. See you in five from now. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.
Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or, and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Join us for our early bird special. Every day at 8am, we will offer you an incredible saving on a fantastic product. This offer is for one day only and while stocks last. So join us early to not miss out on some incredible savings. Follow us on Facebook to see some of our favourite makes that we have coming up, which fabulous guests will be joining us and some of our fantastic offers and discounts. We also hold one-off Facebook Lives with special guests and demonstrations exclusive to Facebook. Just search for Sewing Quarter on Facebook to find us. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. From gorgeous florals to nursery rhyme themed prints and paisley, our Lessienne fabrics are great for all your vintage style makes. And what's more, they're at a discounted price. Visit our website at www.sewingquarter.com to view the full range and discounts. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 73 and Sky Channel 687. We're obsessed with designer fabric at Sewing Quarter. From the quirky prints of Tula Pink and Kay Facet to the more traditional William Morris and Liberty. With our great discounts and capped delivery of just £2.95, who could resist topping up the stash? Check out all the gorgeous fabric we have on offer on our website www.sewingquarter.com and see our top 10 picks on our Pinterest page. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. She's here. This is Hannah, my producer, everybody. I look a mess. 
<laughs> you do look a mess, but it's fine. <laughs> well, no, no, because you sit in a darkened room for five yeah, hours. Paul, don't, I don't need with to dress Paul. Up. No, you don't need to dress up. Well, no, because Paul dresses up for you every day. Oh. So you're going to be emotional and sad like Paul was then? <laughs> no, that was too much. <laughs> I am sad, but yeah. I'm not going to be, you know, I'll just go home and be upset. Yeah. <laughs> she was upset last night watching a film about teenage love, angst and all your clothes around <laughs> yeah. her. <laughs> Paul says, don't pick your nose when you're on telly. <laughs> right, so for those people who don't know, what yeah. is your job? Because people come in here, yeah, don't they, and go, silly. yeah, Hannah, whatever, They don't because they don't see you doing anything. But what do you actually do? Well, I say upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go through the product with you yeah. and the guests, when there were guests. And, um, oh, yeah, when there were guests, yeah. <laughs> and then select what? But I need to, say, she's been very modest here. Hannah runs the whole show. So when you're sending in pictures and messages and we're doing different things, I'm going, what next time, what next time? Then there's me going like that. Then she's also got Lucy Floor going, what next time, what next time? And all that sort of thing. So she is really in charge. And on a day like today, she's in charge of the whole building because the producer oh, yeah. is in charge of the whole building. She's also a fire marshal. Yes, health and I love safety that job. marshal. Yes, yep. I when, loved my call. When she went for a health and safety course, no one would be a partner, so she had to be partner with the dummy I was on the too floor. Eager. <laughs> I was a pick, pick me, pick me. She kept saying like that. And um, now, yeah. So you're off to Myanmar tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow morning. Unusual choice. Yeah, my friend lives out there. My friend's part of the Peace Corps, um, so I'm going to go meet her. We're going to travel for the week. Then I have a week on my own, then meet her again. Then have a week on my own, then meet her. I don't really know. I've got one night's accommodation booked. And for a month. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. And then when you come back. Yes, I'm going to do my driving. Yeah, in Rutland, I'm two weeks. A job. <laughs> then uh, you'll find one. There'll be one there then. But I need oh. to tell you, right? Okay, so you, I'm not going to get all emotional oh. and sad and everything, but Hannah and I have this really, really special relationship. Oh, oh no, look, I am getting upset. <laughs> Oh. oh, I can't say it. I'll tell you tomorrow. She's brilliant. Anyway, she might be crazy. She puts up with all my picking on her. But I believe you me, she picks on me just as much as <laughs> doing here. But we have this very... It's really funny, because when we first met at Roxon Coach, I was already working there, and she came in to train, and I walked through, and I went to show you, do not put me with that woman. <laughs> On no account am I going to work with that woman. Anyway, we did work together there, yeah. and then we came here, and we've had a brilliant, brilliant time. And I have to thank so you, lovely. because you have made this experience even better than it could have been. And I love being here. You know how much I love being here. But you have really, really, really missed me. And I know you go, are you not going to hug me? She comes in like this, going... At least everyone and everyone runs away and things. But it really, 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 you've truly made this experience at Tone oh, Quarter. So now go and do your job. Bye. Go on. Bye. Oh, oh God, I'm this that bad. Mind you, it's Jesse and Chris tomorrow. So I won't be sitting there hugging Jesse and Chris on there. Jesse will be too busy moaning. He won't realise it's the last day. And Chris will be in floods of tears before we even go live on there. And Chris is this big butch bloke. <laughs> well, he says he's butch, but. Anyway, that was Hannah. That was my lovely Hannah. We're not going to see, speak to each other again after today. That's it now. She said to me the other day, because obviously she's talking to me constantly here. She, she said someday, oh, but John, I'll stay in touch afterwards, won't we, John? I went, no. <laughs> so all you heard at home was me going, no. And she's like, oh. Mind you, I still haven't been around to a house. Even the day we crashed, she didn't invite me in. And I've driven here back every day for three years. Anyway, when she's away, I'm going to go around and see Tony, her next door neighbour, and we're going to break in. It'll be fine. There's nothing worth nicking. There's nothing worth nicking. No. Oh, yeah, I imagine, Paul's right, I imagine Tony just sits there watching you while you're asleep at night time. <laughs> Paul really liked Tony. Anyway, 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 let's carry on. Oh, hang on, lots of messages coming through now. Um, I'll shut that. I'll shut that, because I'll be... I've got, I meant to put my phone, but actually, I'll tell you what, Luz! No, I don't want to hear because it's a distraction then. I'll get Lucy. Can you just bung that on my desk so I don't look at it loose? And I was going to nick that, but I'll give you that back. <laughs> um, right, and also, now in this hour, very, very, very exciting, I've got a thread bundle that I've been telling you about since 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, we've got to mention it. Hayley's not here yet, and she's supposed to be here at quarter to 12, so we could show it at the beginning of the hour. She's not here yet. 
So the minute Hayley gets here, we will show we will show you the lovely bundle of thread. Because otherwise, this is all I've got. This is it. This is the 12 o'clock hour. I know. And I've got, what, 50 minutes. Oh, I've got to do tomorrow's menu. Because <laughs> I'm sure we'll be doing Oh, and also, I do need to warn you, an awful lot of people have been putting on Facebook saying, oh, wouldn't it be lovely when we see all the guests on air tomorrow at the end? They'll be, they'll be me. I think Ian's coming on at the end. Natasha's coming in for the last hour. So Natasha and I'll be on for the last hour. We may, Ian will most probably come on and wave. And uh, who else will be here? Hayley will come in. She'll come on. Harriet will come on like this. Just stand there look, with her big hair. Um, I don't think there's anybody else. Let There's Paul, the one I don't know, just the one in the corner. Not little Paul, uh, the other Paul. And I can't imagine Neil will be here. So it's kind of like... That'll be it. So it's, there's no big fond farewell well, at mid... At one, what time do we finish? One o'clock tomorrow. It'll just be me and Natasha um, giving you news uh, and things like that. But, um, yeah, more than likely. Right, let's do the thread then. <laughs> Jess is directing, so you might miss my final words. Right, I've got 43 of these. Three five one. Now three five one used to be, you know, in London when you do O one, three five one would be just by Sloan Square. Fact, because my friend Graham had a flat there. It's gorgeous. I remember he paid fifty five thousand pounds for this flat, right? I'm going back donkey's years now. And if you, in Chester, you could have bought a five bedroom house with a swimming pool and still had change. You know I mean? And he bought this tiny one bedroom basement flat uh, just behind um, Peter Jones's, you know, in um, Sloan Square. And everyone thought he was crazy. And then, of course, he sells it a few years later for how many millions? I can't remember. 72p. I'll just wait with you till they all go out. I will. Keep your messages coming in. I know somebody won't send them through now because they'll be about her. Oh, hang on. Thanks for what? Lots of people saying, good luck, have a nice holiday. My earpiece is really rubbing suddenly. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, not back. Hannah, when you come back from your holiday, don't come back here. Somebody else will, be out. Somebody else will own this building by then. <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine if you come back with your shutter key and everything and you let yourself in on the middle of February. And like, who's that girl in the corner? I uh... <laughs> And your desk's not there. Oh, at least they didn't, they, when the marketing team left, they took all the marketing team desks away and they were going to take, don't worry, it's just this that's hurting me, and they were going to take our desks away and we we're going to have nowhere to sit, at least they haven't done that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dev, the department, oh, Deb, Deb, I thought you meant Dev, our, uh, <laughs> our team of Dev. John, you're doing a brilliant job with six patterns and a real account. <laughs> There's more than six, Deb. There's seven. Yeah, that's Debs from uh, Jelly and Ice Cream, Debs. You know, that lovely de Jelly and Ice Cream. Made me that gorgeous scar. Um, best. Uh, oh, oh, and Tainis, everyone's coming through. Gin Poodle's through now. Oh, isn't Hannah adorable? Yeah. Have a lovely time travelling, gorgeous girls. And best wishes for the future. Oh, now I'm sure it's Tainis, isn't it? We decided it was, called, it was Tainis rather than Tanis. It's spelled T-A-N-I-S. So I started saying it was like Janice, but with a T, but which isn't. Anyway, she owns Gin Poodle. Go and have a look at her on Etsy and on Facebook and everything like that. She makes the most gorgeous things like snood, like Debs. Debs from Jelly and Ice Cream makes gorgeous vintage sort of things. And Tainis makes things like Gin Poodles and things like that. It's lovely. There's so, you know what? It's incredible. What this show has done, it's just shown us how much talent there is in the United Kingdom, you know, kind of in craft skills and things like that. Oh, Hannah, that was brilliant. Thank you so much for coming down and talking to us. Enjoy your holidays. Best for the future. And in Cheshire. See, Hannah, they do love you. Don't you think, right, this is me, don't you think Paul and Hannah should just get married? There's such a frisson between them. Uh, Hannah says, no, she's fine, thanks. And then Paul's went, no, there's no... There's... Oh, they're mates. Oh, that's more than he's ever said before. Anyway. <laughs> he's, try he's trying to hold a hand now up in the gallery. 
Oh, he's just held his hand out again. It's an olive branch. She's, she, Oh, she offered him the hand of friendship and he didn't want it. Yeah. Oh, let's do a message from Lynn by the sea in Cornwall. Hi, John. It's going to seem very quiet in our house in the mornings when so quarter has gone. But suddenly my house will have me in it every morning. I've really enjoyed all your shows. I've made so many things to show. My stash is huge now from all your gorgeous goodies. I've signed up and looking forward to an exciting new venture. Good luck to everyone for the future. I have the tissues ready. It's going to be horrendous tomorrow, I'm telling you now. I've even cancelled a test drive for a new car so I can watch your last show. Love to you all from Lynn by the St Cornwall. Do you know what? I think I need to, um, I need to get a new car because I love my, I love my Nissan Duke, but where I reversed into that neighbour's car, and things like that. It's getting a bit tatty now. And also, it's having to have an MOT now. I've never had a car with an MOT before. So, um, oh, did yours fail? I quite fancy, like, there's, I, I saw one yesterday in the car park, in Tesco's car park. It's just called Jeep in big letters across the back. But it doesn't look like a Jeep. But it looks like a big, stonking car. You know what I mean? I kind of, I'd be rubbish in that, something that big. Then. Anyway. Audrey. Not Lady Audrey, is it? Or is it different Audrey? Oh, no, Audrey in Wales. Oh, it's Andrea. That's why it's not Audrey. Hi, John, and everyone at Stone Quarter, including the guests over the years. Don't know how I'll cope in the mornings about your company, the fun and the laughter. I've learned a lot. Acquiring new hobbies and I have extensive stash to work with. Think only my bank balance will show any benefit in the future. Love to you all. Good luck in 2020. We've already signed up for your new website. Love, Andrea or Andrea in sunny at present anyway. Or Audrey, if you read it like Hannah read it, in North Wales. Uh, now, don't forget, you can all come and see me at the, um, in the Stitch Show. It's called Stitch Festival. It's at the Business Design Centre in Islington. I'm there on the 29th of February and the 1st of March. I'm doing, uh, they've asked me to do a show in the theatre. They've asked me to interview um, d designers and uh, I'm doing a, 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 a kiss and tell. That's the wrong <laughs> No, Kiss and Tell. What's it called? Wait, meet and greet. Meet and greet. That's what it's called. Hannah, you can come to a Kiss and Tell if you like. Uh, oh, look, here I am. Look, if you want to follow me. www.johnscottsewingworld.com Ah, Thank you. And thank you to Mandy Shaw for sewing the world for me. Uh, here's Paul's. That's the reason he's put it. Here's Paul's. That's his Instagram. At the underscore Duke 1111. That's Paul. If you want... Heidi, you've not been in touch yet. He's again stressed that you haven't been in touch, Heidi. Uh, Hannah's. Now, this is Hannah's travelling one. Oh, no, not that. Not that. That was 60% off. There you go. Patterns and place. Uh, there is a link to the other one, which is McBabe 8, which is a partying one. Uh, lots of patterns, just one place. It's because patterns and places have been taken already, and she couldn't be one thinking of another word. Why didn't you do patterns underscore and places? Oh, OK, she doesn't like answers because she can't always find the button. She's got more than 238 followers now. How many have you got now? Oh, she's got quite a lot. 338 today. And little Paul, how many have you got on yours? Because Paul wants to be an influencer and you need 10,000 to be an influencer. He's nearly there. Oh, you have gone up. 569. Oh, anyway. Have you got um, Tom Curtis photographs? Oh, hang on. I'll look at his website, first of all. So, now, is that stills or is that doing wedding photography as well? Or is it just stills? Oh, that's stills. My wedding photography is a different one. OK, so, so you can go there to find you. That's your website there, thomascurtisphotography.com. That's where they can go and look. And then his Facebook and Instagram underneath is called at Thomas Curtis Photo. And that picture of him on the beach, is that on there? Or, no, that was on, his, that was on his private one. I'll have to re-jig that one for you. Uh, there's another one of him in a thong, which he said he didn't want to go out to the public. It's old mankini, sorry, not a thong. Right, I think that, oh, and Natasha is Natasha Makes. And Vix, we haven't done Vix. Vix. Here goes, Vixes. Uh, Instagram is two underscore tone underscore acoustic. Now, if somebody asked me to spell acoustic, I'd have put two C's in it for some reason. You know, like, like a count. 
I would have put two. I, it's obviously not because it's obviously the way it is. But uh, and her Facebook is at Two Tone Official. Oh, and, and Vix calls the underscore an underscone. Um, anyway, here's another quick click message before I go on to the next one. Hi, John and team. Well, so miss the show, your banter and your shirts. I've made so many soft toys from Sven Quarter Patterns for family and have gorgeous fabrics and books. It has been a total pleasure and I'm so sorry that it's going. And so am I. It has been for me a pleasure and I've learned so much. All the very best, Barbara from... Oh, now that sounds posh, doesn't it? Bedmond. Where's that, do you reckon? Bedmond. Yeah, Barbara of Bedmond. That's like Lady Barbara. Yes, very nice. Have you followed me, Barbara? Followed me. Well done. Right, now shall I do a pattern? I've got to do some, I've got to do some selling. Ribbon star quilt pattern by Jane Alcock. If you do the um, crosses a little, uh, the, the, the colour, um, well, I'll start again. If you do the colour placement a little bit different, doesn't it look like kisses, this one? Oh, Paul, that's showing your age. He's just started singing, Save All Your Kisses For Me, Brotherhood of Man. What was that, about 1976? So when Paul was about 10, hey, he's 37. Paul's getting upset now because he's only got 40 minutes. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> apparently he's gone all limp. Uh, two pounds. Oh. He keeps going on about us missing him. He'll miss us as well, won't he? You lot. I'll miss you lot. You did give me a hug, Paul. No. Right, moving on. Twister Star Quilt. Yeah, he did it. All of you watching, so that if my hand slipped, he'd have witnesses. Twist. Remember that time we played Naked Twister, Paul? Do you remember, you've played that, haven't you? Naked Twister. Hannah hasn't. <laughs> uh, why, Paul? <laughs> Two pounds, Twister Star Quilt. You played Twister? Yeah, there you go. Same thing, which is we have clothes on. Oh, there you go. Is it? Oh, there's no green in there, that's why. Oh, what's the matter? Is Hayley here yet? Yeah, she's going she to turn up with all this stuff to do when we come in. Anyway, this one here is, well, no, because I'm going to have run out by then. Got some more messages. Okay. <laughs> Is that rain. Come on, put it up. Look, okay, look at that. Right. Okay, rain. You're doing brilliantly on your last but one day. I suggest for tomorrow's show you bring in some of your unwanted presents merchandise and sell that. Your fans would love it, and you make a bob or two. Needs must. It would make for a very interesting and entertaining morning for your last show. Miss you already. Sad to see you go. Call in for coffee if you're in the love, ever in the lovely city of Bath from Rain. Now, Rain, did you send me a I think you sent me a message yesterday, or you put something on Facebook, didn't you? Because I recognise that name. I will pop in for coffee. Um, I know, I know. I haven't got any unwanted presents, but I'll tell you what I have, we have found under my desk. We've had about 2,000 signed um, photographs. So, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, Vix took one home for her husband, Kieran. He sent me a picture of him. Oh, it's not for Kieran. It's for Munch and... It, it's what? It, yeah, it's... They won't be watching, Munch and... Munch. <laughs> Munch and Jerry. Have they moved in yet? Sitting, holding hands, watching Sewing Quarter. No, I thought they moved in on the 6th or something like that. Yeah, it's not today, though. It's, it's the 29th. Now, here you go then. I've got another message from Dawn. Hi, I, John. I retired in April after 36 years. I still cry when I think of my friends. Seeing you and Hannah all emotional was heart-wrenching. Oh, don't. 
You can see the love you've got for each other. I wouldn't call it love. I'd call it like holding our noses because the smell was so bad. This is worth more than gold. Dawn in Greater London. Dawn. Sharp. I said that to Julie when I left the house for I spent Christmas with Mike and Julie's and um, I was got up to say goodbye to them and Julie went oh it's so sad when you were I went oh shut up she went oh all right then <laughs> I thought oh I think I might have upset her anyway Debbie Short rosemary bag you do need one-sided bosal to make this you can eight six use eight six forty if you don't want to use bosal yeah we're sure Debbie Short uh oh Two pounds, though, this is. That's the ro rosemary bag. Okay, picture. Yeah, it's sideways, but never mind. Hi, John and T. My Lucy Boston quilt going to the long arm quilters after Christmas. Hi, John, you're amazing from Michelle's. What's Michelle's? Tyne and Weir. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, I love it. If you just part, once it's been long arm quilted, just pass it up and I'll give you my address. That is just incredible, isn't it? Oh no, no there's nothing on my iPad at the moment. Right, let's do the pomegranate cushion by Nicola Dodd. And Pamela says, <laughs> can Hannah and Paul work with you and Fern Britton in your new show? Right. Um, I've got it. First of all, I haven't got a new show. My website isn't a show show as yet. It will be one day, but not just yet. Uh, Fern Britton won't be in it. But I'd love her to be. Oh, no, of course Hannah could come. And you could come as well, little Paul, but there'd be a, 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 a caveat. A caveat. That means, yes, Paul, you can have this job, but you're not allowed to do this, 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 this and this. Yeah? And you have to do this, 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 and this. The caveat will be written by me. Two pounds. Go freelance, Paul. It's so much more fun. Right. Uh, I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> so this is from Amanda, right? She says, I'd like to wish Hannah, Paul, Lucy and Tom all the very best for the future. Hashtag I've signed up. Does that mean I haven't got a future? It's a bit frightening though, isn't it? Oh. Oh no, what does Gwyneth say? Have... Gwyneth? Let's, hang on. Here you go, I've got it. Gwyneth, Gwyneth. John, what's going on? I don't do social media. In the last, missed the last few shows. Please fill me in. Gwyneth in Staffordshire. Um, tomorrow's our last show. Gwyneth, that's it. After tomorrow, we will not be on air. I know we're being jolly about it, but I think we're all covering up a bit of emotion here. That's it. After tomorrow. So today, this crew that are here today, this is their last shift. I'm in tomorrow with the other crew tomorrow. And then Natasha's joining me for the last hour. Yeah. Um, and then after that, Broadcasting will cease. The website will still be there, but broadcasting will cease. There'll be no shows or anything like that. <gasps> Gwyneth. It's been going on for a month now, Gwyneth. The last few shows for a month. Oh, you're only round the corner. West Midlands. Oh, no, Staffordshire. In that, that part of West Midlands. Right. Oh, no. Dave. On the telly. Here you go. Hi, John. Just to let you know how much I've enjoyed watching you these past three years. Actually, it, it's my wife... Eileen that watches the show while I pretend to read my newspaper, but I can't help but watch. You're the first thing I switch on for at eight every morning. By the way, I'm not interested in sewing at all, but we'll miss your personality. Oh, I've heard it called that before, Dave. Thank you, John. Regards, Dave. Oh, Dave. See, I get so many messages from ladies going, my husband loves you. My husband loves you. Yeah. Right, what's the matter? Lynn Edwards. Don't be like that, Hannah. I'm not, I'm not changing. <laughs> Can you send Hayley in here immediately, please? Poinsettia. Is it called something else from Lynn Edwards? There you go. Lucy! 
Two pounds, poinsettia quilt. Therese. Could the cream trolley? Um, well, I've got to nick one yet. I was trying to try and do that today because it's underneath all my clothes. Oh, could you tell Hayley to come in here, please? Instantly. Hayley, Yes, thank you, Neil. It's what? What's... Oh, I've done that one. Doreen. Not yet, I haven't, but I will have in a second. She's coming. Okay. No, she's not coming on. Where's this th thread bundle we've been talking about all morning? Right, and then while you're both here, is the YouTube, will the YouTube still be open after we've shut so people can watch the shows from the last three years? Um, yes. Yes, you heard that from Neil. Yes, it will be. Well, that's what people are saying. They're going to miss us so much. They're going to go back. Well, the first week was none, was it? There was about 10 shows missing at the beginning. But they're just going to watch all of them again now. Uh, the threads will be coming through in a second. Right, I haven't got... Whose who's message did you say was coming through? Doreen from Londonderry. Hello, John. Loved all the giggles and fun and the lessons learnt. What am I going to do now to watch the weekend? Work gets in the way during the week. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, and then got cut off. Oh, Doreen. Oh, can't we? Why not? Well, yeah, but that means... Uh, well, what I'll do is I'll ask Hayley now. When Hayley comes back in in a minute, I'll ask her. Hi, John. Me and your little fan, Amy, would like to wish you and all the team the best. She's going to miss you on telly. Oh, thank you, Kerry, my love. And Amy, obviously. Bliss Rose. Don't remember this one. Was it Jane Alcott one? Oh, no. Did she not make this one? This out of Riley Blake, isn't it? It's made out of Riley Blake fabric, this one. <gasps> Bliss Rose Quilt, two pounds. M-P-I-E-O-2. What was I just going to ask Hayley then? Oh, then you know the box of... Th come on. Oh, if you want to come on in that jumper. <laughs> Here's Hayley, everybody. Hello. Now you're looking that one. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, there's a box of 2,000 signed photos under my desk. If we give it to where else, can they just bung one from now on until they run out? Right, okay, we'll do that. I can't, because you say, I can't guarantee that you'll definitely get one, but if, otherwise they're just going to go in the recycling box, aren't they? Because I'm not taking them home. They're, only, they're not signed to you personally, they're just like, with love, John, we'll give them to the warehouse. You ages to do those, didn't it? Yeah, it took me ages to do all those. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I will, we will give them to the warehouse tomorrow when the van arrives tomorrow, and any that they haven't packed, they'll bung one in. In fact, I'll take some home, I'll take some home in case we need to, I need to send you them from home, but we'll, we'll just put, give them to the warehouse, otherwise they'll get recycled. Right, what's this? Then. Oh, what is it? This is, your bundle. this is the mystery bundle we've been going on since eight o'clock this morning. I'll 20, do that in a minute. 25. Okay, thank you. And they're just random, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We've had an email from Sandy. Hello, John. Oh no. Well, sh shall I just? You can't stress about it because it's done, isn't it? What happened was is when I lived in London, I got so used to people drive parking outside my house, because obviously that's what happens. When, now I live in the countryside, I get really, really stressed if someone drives, because there's no reason to park so close to my house. Anyway, a car pulled up, and it was visiting Suzanne and Brad in the corner, and I said to John, my next neighbour, oh, they shouldn't park there, because last time somebody parked there, the bin lorry came round and took the car out. Someone will reverse into it. Anyway, I was coming to work the next morning and Norman hadn't been home all night and it's, that wasn't like... No, Norman's my cat, was my cat, by the way. And um, so I was stressing. So I reversed out of my drive like this, looking for Norman, went straight into this car. It was only five o'clock in the morning, wasn't it? So I drove all the way here thinking, I won't tell them, I won't tell them. I'm not saying things. They won't notice me, they won't notice me, they won't notice me. Anyway, by the time I got here, I was thinking, they will notice me and I can't live with not telling them. So I messaged Suzanne going, I think I might have got into your friend's car. Anyway, he still charged me a fortune. For it. Right, this is a random bundle of threads. I cannot guarantee that you'll get these actual colours. Here we go. How many of them I've got? How much of them I've got? 
Right, they're £13.50. They should be £45. You get, you get 25 Guterman threads for £13.50. It's 70% off. Tell your friends, get them, get them, get them. They'll be random colors. It's a bit like when we did the Alistair ones, you know what I mean? They will be all different colors, but they'll all be random. I can't guarantee you'll definitely get that yellow. I can't guarantee you'll get that salmon. But £13.50 for 25 spools of thread. Should be £45. The phone line's gone crazy. I will stay with you on this one, definitely. I'll stay with you. There is a queue on the phone line. If you put it in your basket, remember, it's not yours till you check out. But you know what I'd do? I'd multi-buy. Because it should be £45. You're always going to need all your different coloured threads, aren't you? They're Guterman, they all sew thread. 100 metres on each spool. OK, now, the phone lines have gone completely and utterly crazy. I'll stay with you while we do this, just, just while I wait for the phone to go down. Maybe we should have rung the call centre to expect this, because they'll have been quite quiet all day long, and they'll be sitting down with their feet up now, won't they? And then suddenly, there are so many of you on the phone lines. Bear with us. Do you want to mention that to Haley? Or is there nothing we can do about it? Thirteen pounds and fifty pence. You know what I would suggest? If you can buy it on the web, do. If you want to buy it on the web, because then you'll beat the queue. But what you must do, uh, you what you must. What they must have really done is gone. Here, there's loads of calls. Get back in here quickly. There's more people answering the phones now. Um, but if you can buy on the web, do buy on the web, because then what can happen is you, once you've checked out, it's done, yours is done then, isn't it? £13.50 for 25 spools. Is it on here? Elizabeth, if you do need to borrow a little studio for a while, I've got one. You're welcome to pop over with a crew. I'd love a photo. Oh, Elizabeth, yeah. Uh, uh, have you not got one already, Elizabeth? I'll, sort, I'll try and sort it out. I'll try and sort it out. I don't, I don't need too many of you ringing in because I have to pay for the postings and stuff. Um, right, there is a queue. I'll wait with you, don't worry. Yes, that's a, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from you. Thirteen pounds and fifty pence. Oh no, that's why the phones are so busy. The web's behind. The web's fallen behind. I do apologise. So you mean you can't buy these on the web yet? Um, okay, so how far behind is the web? Oh, crikey. Yeah, refresh your pages. I'll tell you as soon as it's available on the web, I will tell you. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Do I want one? Oh, 800 112 It's completely free. Right, while you're going through, have a look at Donna's. Yeah. Hi, John. I just want to thank you for keeping mum and me entertained every morning. I've been unemployed for the past few years, waiting for having ops, nothing serious. But now you're not going to be on screen. I better find myself a job. Yikes, me too. I also want to thank you for the inspiration from your Around the World event last year. It spurred me on to make the quilt of all the flags. <gasps> oh my, I've just looked at the picture. It uh, spurred me on to make the quilt of all the flags from around the world using EPP, FPP, which I learnt from certain quarter, applique and embroidery. Took me just over a year to hand sew and a few days to quilt. Apologies to the countries that their flags have changed. <laughs> I used an old book. All the best to you for the future from Donna. Oh, Donna, that's brilliant. They won't be watching. They won't be offended, don't you worry. Has the website caught up yet? Oh, that, we wondered why so many people are coming on the phones. It's because the website hasn't caught up yet. We'll stay with you, don't worry. They're all random, 25 of them. They should be £45, you're getting them for £13.50. I know, I know. 
Keep going through, though. Stay on the phone lines. It's a free phone number. It's just around the corner in Redditch. I think it's in Redditch, isn't it? Anyway, I've always said it's in Redditch. Yeah, it is in Redditch. Whoa! No one saw that but me. Oh, hello. Can you tell Hayley that the, the website hasn't caught up with the thingy? So we're having issues with this one. Thank you. Hey, what, what? Oh, shalom, Dom. Sally Stevens, everybody. Happy Christmas. Oh, How are you? you? Not too bad, thank you. How are you? Good, all right, thank you. We're just doing these. Uh, oh, yeah, £13.50. Oh, you have to go out and buy some of these. Nice. They're the good, aren't they? Um, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good. And what have you been up to? Yes. Um, a quiet Christmas. Uh huh. Obviously, because we lost my mum. Yeah. Um, and I had a chest infection, so I'm just getting over oh, that. Oh, you and Paul the same, yeah. <laughs> and I've come to collect my quilts. Oh, and you've got your pearls on as well. Oh, yeah, we're well, looking very well. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Okay. And what's the new year? What are you going to go up to in the new year? I'm going to be designing patterns um, and do some teaching. And I'm working for a couple of companies that I've learned about from Soundquarter. So Fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be good. And you can do any of the uh, events, any of the festivals? Yes, I'm demonstrating a festival of quilts. Have you booked for that already? Yeah. Yep. And at Stitches. Uh -huh. and possibly another Stitches, one. just so you know, Stitches is the one for trade only, so yeah. you can't go to the Stitches one. And another one, apparently a new one in September. Oh, very nice. And I'm going to something in Birmingham in, I think it's May, to do the launch of a new fabric from Liberties. So oh, oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, you'll be busy then. I've been busy. Because it's, it's Tom, Hannah, Little Paul and Lucy's last day today. Yeah. So we've all been getting a bit emotional oh. here. But I'll be back on tomorrow. Yes, I'll be watching tomorrow. Good, good. I'll see you when I come off in a minute. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, um, right, has, have we caught up on the web? Still not on the web. Do a couple of messages. I just want to see because I want it to be on the web before I leave it. That's all. Oh, won't I? Why not? Okay. Hi, John, and the other wonderful and all the other wonderful team. Sorry to see you go. You've been an inspiration not only to me, but I'm sure to lots of other people too. Thank goodness that YouTube will still be there operating. Well, Neil told us it will be. And I have so many mystery bundles that need to be either started or finished. It will take me years. Cannot understand why this wonderful program is being taken off air. Me neither. Should we start a petition to bring you all back? Brenda, I think it's too late now for a petition, but thank you anyway for the thought. Doncaster. I think I've, pop follow I've passed signs for Doncaster when I'm going to York to do pavers. Uh, next one. Julia Mark. Dear John and all the crew, I can't believe how you've all managed to get inside my heart. Oh, here we go. I will be upset now for read this one. I am sat here with tears in my eyes. Oh, don't, Julie. You've become part of our family. My hubby will even miss you and your banter. He was sat watching you this morning instead of getting ready to go out. May I wish you all good luck for the future. Much love from Julie and Mark. Do you know what? What we have to do is we have to... What's that? There's a saying, isn't it? I'm going to look it up tonight. It's not about don't mourn for what you've lost, celebrate for what we had, or something like that. There's a famous quote or something like that, isn't there? Colette... Hi, John, Natasha, Vicky, Chris, Paul, and the team. Where's Hannah? Oh, no, Hannah on there. Yeah, I haven't made the list today. You've become friends when you come in my dining room during breakfast while I'm ironing, having coffee, sewing every day, even when I'm on holiday in my caravan. Although I'm very sad about certain quarter, won't be on my TV every day. You've taught me so much and given me the confidence to run workshops one afternoon each month. Oh, get you. My husband won't be sorry. The credit card bill is a lot slower. Good luck to you all in the future. I have signed up from Colette. Thank you, Colette, my love. And Hannah says, doesn't matter that you've missed her off. She's not upset. Um, and so I can't wait for the web then, can I not? How's the queue? Still a long queue. Hold the line. Just because I'm sure. How are we on stock? <gasps> right, half the stock is gone. There were hundreds of these. Half the stock is gone. Stay where you are on the phone line. Oh, yeah, and if you want these, if you want these patterns... Write down the codes of these patterns because they're not going to come up on the web either. Right, here we go. Crown Pub. What time is it? 12.40. <gasps> not long for the A-team today. 
for not long. You've got 20 minutes left. Mm. Crown pub cushion. It could be the crown. It could be anything you wanted it to be. Two pounds. That looks like the Mason's Arms to me in my village. In fact, it's very, very similar to the Mason's Arms. Just the other way around. Looks the other way around. Write the code down because you won't get to on the web. What loads in the car? Oh, and something else. Okay. No, because I've got to put all my stuff. Hannah's is already in there. And I've just got to put my stuff in now. She's got a picnic hamper. No, no, it's all in the dressing room. She's got a picnic hamper full of stuff. That's true. Two pounds, moving on. Hilary, hi, it's me again. I'm supposed to be wrapping and cooking for a second Christmas with my daughter's family, but keep stopping to watch. And now, Sally, that's me gone. Oh, Hilary. Oh, hang on, now we're jammed here. Oh, Jan. I thought you said, now we're jammed here. Oh, Jan, the phone lines are completely fully booked to the moment, fully used at the moment. What's the matter? Why? Oh, sorry, Jan. Sorry, Jan. No, Hannah's the same. She only buys on text. She doesn't call. We can't do anything about it, I'm afraid. So it's not that it's just running behind. It's actually the dev team need to sort it. It's Sunday. They won't be in. It's Arsenal today, isn't it? He won't be in. Winter lilies. Christmas log. Oh, no, log cabin, sorry. Winter lilies, Christmas log cabin. I haven't had any Christmas log this year. <laughs> um, because Wendy brought, Wendy brought in, Wendy brought in the um, Baileys one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Okay, we think they're two different things. Anyway, I'm moving on. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Graphics out. <laughs> Clock! <laughs> Who designed this one? Victoria Carrington designed this one. You might need, you need to buy the mechanics to go in it, obviously. And the battery. Don't forget to put a battery in. I know, and you can make it any colour you want, for any room in the house. You don't even have to do petals like a flower like that. You could do all sorts of applique on there. Yeah, Claire who sews things, lives in Solihull. Hello, Claire. Oh no! Just send you, send you, send your, um, send me an email, Claire. Two pounds. Claire was the one. Do you remember when we were at um, Festival of Quilts and uh, in the breaks when when we did live links on the few times that the microphones worked, Jesse, um, I I interviewed Claire who makes things. In the audience. Oh, apparently yesterday they heard they we found out that they met she met her husband in the airport and they remembered each other from when they both had a tattoo. 
in Ibiza. Oh, now some, who's done that? Abigail, don't write an order to studio. It needs to go, you need to order it on the website. We can't take an order through the, through the email on the, on the show, I'm afraid. Uh, we're really sorry if we haven't read your message yet. Hannah's been inundated with them today. Rabbit instructions. She might punch you in a minute, Paul. Joe Carter, bunny hop. She's only got another 15 minutes of your pull and then that's it. You never have to see each other again. What's he? What did I say? Oh, she's obviously carrying that one. You all right, Tom? Your farmer's playing up. You can't sit still today. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. No, it's not worms. <laughs> I do apologise, Sunday lunchtime. Yes. When I used to do a radio show at lunchtime on LBC years ago, I was at one day, I was on with Karen McGiffin and we were having to do the, um, we, we used to review the Sunday papers all the time. And I said something that was a little bit su suggestive about the toilet area. And um, I got into so much trouble. I had to apologise the next week. Teapot, autumn, leaves, tote, instructions. That doesn't make sense. Oh, hang on. Haley's just explained about the website. Yeah, but they'll have sold out by then, won't they? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it on duty today? Who was it on duty? Oh, I don't know him, I don't think. Hang on, I know Dan, and I know Craig, and I know Arsel. Who's Craig? I don't know who she, Sean is. Yeah. <laughs> Two pounds. Why don't you give Dan a ring? I'm sure it would say, John needs this sorted and he'll get it sorted. I'm ever so sorry. You are going to have to join the queue to buy these. Yeah, so how big's the queue still at the moment? Okay. Oh, sorry, okay. Oh, I have a, I'm gonna, Paul, I'm just going to put that down flat. Yeah, it's here. I've got them here. In the studio. Look. Buffer bags. Now, obviously, you don't get the bag. You do not get the bag, obviously. It's just the instructions. There you go. Two pans. Okay, moving on. Um, the thing is, uh, right, I, what I would do is write, if, this, if you see something you like, write down the item code number and then call back later. Or when the web's caught up, buy it on the web later. It's just that at the moment, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, Christmas tree. Why is that? Where's the H off O? Christmas tree on that one. Oh. Yeah, even the song, Oh, Christmas Tree, has an H after it, yes. Anyway, be nice for next Christmas. That's fine. Say what you like about me. You've got what? Oh, yes, we certainly do. Right, garden path. 
Linda Clements. You're not here, Hannah, you'll be on an aeroplane. Even if the flight was at two o'clock, you could go for lunch at one o'clock tomorrow, Hannah. I think you have to be at the airport three hours before your flight. Write down the code and ring later because you're not going to get through right now. I've got loads. I've got loads of patterns still to go through. It's fine. Right, any more? Uh, now, we haven't got... What were the two children called? Eddie. Eddie Izzard. And who? Oh, Eddie the Flying Eagle. Right, and what was the other one called? Okay, Eddie and Izzy. Now, I haven't got the, I haven't got the pattern for the actual dolls, but I've got patterns for their outfits. Two pounds. You could extend it, I suppose, make it a bit bigger and then it would fit little Paul, wouldn't it? Because little Paul likes a onesie. Don't you, Paul? Have you not got one? I don't like them because I don't like everything waggling about. Reindeer onesie. Write the code down, because you won't get through at the moment. Write the code down. Oh, it says it on this. On the third one, it's got the names of the... Oh, and on that one. What's he saying? <laughs> oh, he has not got, has got enough crotch depth in his onesie to wear... Was it so? Oh, no. If you're on the phone line for the threads, they've sold out. Put the phone down. Put the phone down if you want the threads. They've sold out. Oh, apparently we're going to have another bundle tomorrow. And I'll have them on earlier tomorrow, so give us time to sort them out. Has to be. We've announced it, doesn't it? Polar bear onesie. Well, no, no, as long as we both know. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you later. I'll tell you tomorrow what we're talking about. Uh, twisted wreath. Christmas. Two pans. I'm rushing through these because we can't... Oh, actually, as lots of people put the phone down now that the, the, the um, threads have gone. OK, now you can ring up now. You can ring up now. It says gingerbread. Oh, OK. No, F-A-R-E. Yeah, W-E-L-L. -L. Farewell. Louise Kelly, Gingerbread House. Now, we had this on the... Sh oh, when we... <laughs> shows how long ago this was. This was on the metal shelves. Before your time, Lucy. I think. Have, you always, have you always had these? All the metal... Oh, those. There, it was on one of those. Two pounds. That's a big instruction booklet, that one. Two pounds. Oh, uh, here we go now. Anna's just gone, I'm going to miss you, John. Quite a high like that. Oh, and the thing is, we know our paths are going to cross again, unfortunately. <laughs> well, let's do this one. Curvy windmills. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Can't leave the auction yet.
Curve. Oh, actually, what I should do is choose which... I'm going to choose which decorations I want off the tree today before I go. I'm going to choose which decorations I'm going to nick off the tree. That's what I said. No, we bought these. I'm not, I'm not going to do them while I'm on air. Paul's saying you've got two and a half minutes to be like a supermarket sweep. When I'll have this, I'll have this, I'll have this, I'll have this. Oh, I wonder if those um, bolts will do that tomorrow. Uh, where's Helen messaged him? No, she hasn't. Hi, John, she says. I've enjoyed this programme. And, and the way you all present it so much. It's like no other. Well, just as well, really. So much more than any other shopping channel. Helen in York. Thank you. Oh, look, after all these, I could just... Uh, Maybe it doesn't work like that. Maybe I could do it like that. Hang on. Oh, let's do tomorrow's menu. Oh, oh. Coming up tomorrow with me, John Scott. There won't be anything left. That's the problem. <laughs> Eight o'clock, warehouse clearance. Nine o'clock. Are you coming on YouTube? Nine o'clock, warehouse clearance. Ten o'clock, warehouse clearance. Eleven o'clock, warehouse clearance. Twelve o'clock, so long, farewell. From John and Natasha. Uh, are you two coming on to wave bye-bye? No, Lucy doesn't want to come on and wave bye-bye. Hunky Tom, are you coming on? I'm no, he's refusing to come on, everybody. And he's put his best cardigan on and everything. It's a bit strange, isn't it, wearing combat pants and a little knitted, home-knitted cardigan. It's a nice combination. And he needs a haircut as well. Uh, thank you so much for coming today. We have to say goodbye to Hannah. Bye. Bye, Paul. Bye, Lucy. Bye, bye Tom. Tom's not bothered. Is oh, bye, there you go. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, unfortunately, but I'll be with a new team tomorrow. Uh, thank you ever so much for all your messages today. We will do it all again tomorrow. There will be tears, there will be tissues, and there will be coffee, hopefully. See you tomorrow. How do you fancy a massive 60% off your sewing supplies? Sewing Quarter are offering 60% off everything. Head to www.sewingquarter.com to check out the offers and to shop. You can also shop via our UK call centre on 0800 112 4433. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. From gorgeous florals to nursery rhyme themed prints and paisley, our Lessien fabrics are great for all your vintage style makes. And what's more, they're at a discounted price. Visit our website at www.sewingquarter.com to view the full range and discounts. <laughs>